that's like at least what six sixty five hundred damage. Too that, much. That's that's way too much. <laughs> Still much, but it's time to begin. Yeah. Top eight. Yeah. Street Fighter Six, Punk versus JP. Let's get it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm try. I'm curious on the neutral. I'm curious on when's gonna when's the scrambles are gonna happen. Mm-hmm. And okay. how he's going to deal with it, right? Oh, nice. You see, people are understanding Punk's tendencies on, like, knowing how to check drive rush. They're using drive rush lights. Yeah, a right? crouching light kick is really good for this character. Yep. The crouching medium kick follow-up for Rasheed. Yep, there we go. JB's just starting off with all the drive rush lights. But already their drive gauge is so weak, and they're pressing some buttons. The scrambles are happening. Mm -hmm, that crouching medium punch we talked about. Fantastic button. Nice punish. Yeah, through the gap. Ooh, the space. press the button. Steal the turn. Oh, okay. The even, trade. Yeah, even JB with some good checks, too. He's like the perfect pair. He gets a fireball. Can drive rush right after that. If you will, as he does yeah. so with the throw. Yeah, that's option select right there. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, you have to spend it. Get some distance, but careful. Look at the bar at the bottom. Even though he may not use it this round, you're giving him more resources. JB, a master of the battery. Oh. God dang, the crouching medium punch. Buffer into death as the oh, hit the Of course he gets it. He got the combo the first try? That's okay. Privilege. That's protagonist privilege, but privilege right there. Oh Is my that? God. Yeah, if you want the I think that's a box. I think that's a professional right there. It's a professional? Punk, Punk is a professional player. Oh, man. Punk with the first Ooh. victory. Okay, here we go. Are we, oh, yeah, we're going to go for the easy combo this time. Because you know why? You're in the corner, and you got to take the mix. Mm -hmm. Take the damage, too, as well, if it does land. Nice. The target combo ends it with the rising upper. Misses the meaty, though. All right. JB is out. Are we spending level two yet? No. Why don't you do it on hit because of the fact that Luke has such fast fireballs? Stand Fierce knockdown. Safe jump. Down and out. No, doesn't want to spend it yet. Guess he'll get a little bit more damage. Okay, good job. Down and out. Careful now. He still has bar. Punk is bar. Don't die with all that meter. Yo, Punk is pressing that crouching media punch right now. Bless what he knows yeah, the, what the money maker is. Tries to go for a shimmy. Oh, burnt out. Oh, yeah, we throwing it out right now for sure, right? No. Oh, careful now, Punk. Oh. Bad DP and a great punch from JB yeah, as yeah. a rebuttal. I want to say that was probably just like an input error. He probably held like forward down and then hit down forward by accident and pressed medium punch. Mm -hmm. Right, sandblast, sandblast. So a little bit back to the neutral game right here. The first game is always important, right? Very much so. JB's trying to find that right space and place to get the Yasara out. You're going to have to find a knockdown or on hit. It is a nine frame startup, so this quick fireball can stop you. All right. Go to sleep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to let that rip. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised JB is not going for kind of like the level two, but this is probably the answer, really? right? Yeah, go for the level three here. We're going to get some drive gauge back on JB's side and take some away from Punk as well, too. Good damage right here. But almost, yeah, it's pretty much even in terms of that, but Punk has the meter gain, though, the meter advantage. Oh, heavy kick. We love to have a punish counter. Oh, next hit. Or oh, we going to Memphis, boys. Oh, no. We want to go there. Yeah, but he's burnt out. No DP. No anti-air. That's big. Rare from Punk. A drive rush. Yeah. The back throw. It's a doable. He's got the drive impact. If oh. DP. Back this. It's a true combo. So he sends out the super. No. Not enough chip to get it. It barely. That was close. It wasn't enough. It, it wasn't enough. Yeah, he did sandblast right there. But I was wondering if maybe if he did heavy punch knuckle into it's it, it could have done more chip yeah. damage. But I mean, in terms of that one, that was really close. It could have yeah. really been like it's literally like down to the wire for chip damage. Magic pixel sort of thing right there. JB by a hair stays alive. Right. A lot more aggressive starting here from Punk though. Does not get the right rising up or maybe OD would have been a better choice. Yeah, he did the wrong combo too. That's a sick combo. Sick setup too. Yeah, give me that pressure, that corner Perfect pressure. Perfect about. And give me that as a, oh, with the overhead. With the reset. You sneaky son of a gun. Sneaky, sneaky. Mm -hmm. Oh, frame kills too. Nice jump back. That's big. It should be enough right here. Fancy yeah. Eagle spike. All right. JB up a game in a round. Yeah, I, I remember seeing JB tweeting that, like, he wasn't going to come to this tournament, but the stream made it happen. Yo, shout out to the stream. Shout out to the stream. Okay, nice. Yeah, he tried to hold up again. Maybe he didn't want to take the grab. Do something different against the grip. There it is. Luckily, it was a punish counter, though. Charge oh. up. Oh, 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 Trying to catch him lacking. <laughs> JP caught up in the corner. Yeah, this is looking like Puck. I feel like in this range, if you're JB, you want to deal a bit more damage before even spending the bar, right? Mm -hmm. Nice sweep. 
the side switch, though. Okay, nice tech, yeah. No side switch available. Man, yeah, we're spending a little bit far, maybe level one. Yep. Yes. There we go. Punk gets it done. Only a little bit of bar utilized. Could build that level three if need be. Easy. Easy Easily. level three build right here. But I like the fact that, like, you, you could tell from compared to yesterday, JB's using less, right, of the level two. We're spending more of the level three drop combo from Punk in that situation right there. Automatic oh, drive rush with flip throw this time. It's hard. There, there it is. It is. Got the space of this place to send out the twister. Enhance. Okay. Mixer. It's okay. He's gonna, we're going to do it again. Yeah, it's still right there. And we got that win. Let me say it. Oh, oh my God! You're burnt out. Punk is, you know, he is. He's like, I'm comfortable with being burnt out. Oh no! Oh, the wrong button. Crouch fears too far out the distance. Only swinging at his demons. Does you see the respect right here of not doing drive impact because he's so scared of Punk's reactions? Yeah, the level three shots to know with the prodigy. We've seen that a little bit too often. Yep, yep. Oh, oh he does it as an anti air. Wow, that was godlike. And that he, was sick. And he get the double jump combo, and he's gonna be able to kill level one. Yeah, Super Rashid oh, kick. Oh my God! He does a kill. Pixel. Wake up, Super. He neutral jump. Actually, he back jump and finds a sweep off the feet. Janitorial duties are being done here by JB. JB. Okay. Oh wow! What, let it rip. It's risky though. That's big damage right there. This character is so much damage. Okay. Bad DP. Reversals. Even more risky against Luke. Yeah. Good tech on the grab. Not this time though. Oh. Okay. Nice hit confirm on the forward heavy punch. Rising uppercut. Guess for game. Nice jump out. No cross cut from Punk. He won't try to risk it. There we go. Oh, drops the combo, oh. but it works out. Somehow. You know, you know, even Punk is respecting JB's reactions against Drive Rush, and he's even him, he's using Drive Rush crouching jab as well, too. That's true. I saw Impact against the fireball. The backboard. Oh, he's landing this all of a sudden, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, saw, like, he said, what'd you say about my combos? I still got those. He's all oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> nice wake up. It's a neutral jump, Mears. That was fantastic. That was great. Oh. Carry the gap. It's a blue kind of day. Okay, yeah. I think JB wants to use the level three for a combo for, for the finish. He's uh, maybe possible. He doesn't want to use the level two in this situation. But no. the sequence level one might be able to work out. He's yeah. got a drive gauge to back himself up. Yeah, no cross cut as well, too, again. Yeah. And that's causing it. There we go. Jab, jab, jab. Match point for JB. Is it really going to be a 3 0 for JB, possibly? JB saying he ain't got the facilities with this loop just yet. Honestly, I mean, JB plays a lot of loop players, as most people do when they play ranked, but also likes to do Kevin and many others. Right, yeah, know the Prodigy as yes, well, too, yes. especially in the West Coast scene, too. Yes. Oh, the shimmy. That's what Punk's famous for, too. All right, put the Sam Pierce on him. Okay. Let's get the back door. Blood. Yeah, but that tornado's behind. Oh, he's fighting for it. This is going to be big, big damage. And another follow up. Yeah, they didn't want to spend two bars, right? That's true. I, I get it. Uh oh, this is close. JB might be able to Oh, this could be it. Bar. Oh my god. Yeah, this is it for sure. Sam Pierce Level Super one. Machine kick to do it. JB defeats Buck and moves on to winner's finals. Winner's finals. I would say that's a really big upset, right? Because Punk is the favorite to win this tournament. And JB, he like I said, he came out of here with a stream. Stream the stream helped him. The stream and, helped him. And you now can't he, lose when the stream. Got your back, That's bro. true. Spons Nobody got me. The stream got me. Sponsored by Tryhard JB, right? Twitch.tv. <laughs> Y'all need to check that stream out. He definitely is uh, a really great streamer. He's very interactive with his community. Yep. He'll answer a lot of your questions. And it's where I go to watch a lot of Rashid stuff, just in general. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to find kind of Rashid knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to learn your, the character yourself. That's but, hard. Yeah, it's hard. He has so many tricks, so many combos, so many different frame kills. And JB, other Rashid players, Gachikun, and like, they have like t taken this character to like such a new level compared to I would say other characters, the default cast. Right. Yeah. Right. Because you don't time spent on yeah, this. Yeah. Because you, you don't really see a lot of frame kills from like other characters, right? Or like a lot of tech, even on Twitter. Yeah. Like, you know, even you know, like the Big Bird has been playing this character. Angry Bird also too has been shown the light. I've Dual Kevin. Dual Kevin. Of course, that's his secondary. We might be able to see that uh, when we move down to losers, but we still have one more witness match. What is that? Ooh, Terrence versus Sammy, and yes. I would say this this is like. The dark horse match right because both of them they really worked really hard because i would say that's the dual kevin item route right right so yeah, that's it, where they should have been in a different it, timeline exactly a different multiverse yeah. right 
All right, so that's really cool. I want to see how Terrence is going to respond to Sammy because it's going to be Chun Li versus Cami, mm -hmm. and Cam. I would say Cami does really good against Chun Li because Chun Li can't really throw fireball. She has an amazing fireball, but guess what? Cami also has anti-fireball tools, right? With the heavy Ooh. punch spin knuckle or the OD spin knuckle as well too. Level three full screen. Full uh, screen. Full screen. So, but also when you think about the mid range though, I would say Chun Li does have great butt. Right? The stand, we talked about the standing light punch yesterday, right? The shake my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Crouching medium kick is so good. Um, you know, everything about her, especially as Chung Lee, has been being developed from Bowmaster, Terrence, um, and Moke and other Chung Lee players out there. The damage is there. Yes. More use to, more usage of the level two super as well, too. Now it's not just about, hey, let me just store up level three and then and try to land three? it. Yeah, yeah, the right? Sultan. It, yeah. That, the game has completely changed from that, right? More like level that, two, you, right? I love that, right? The utility of level two has changed. Um, the game so much, and Chun Li is definitely one of the, the characters that use level two a lot. A lot. In fact, it's like a pivotal part of her game plan. As you mentioned, building up that bar in those level two sequences is what allows her to continuously put on the pressure, and then she can put on the safe jump setups, which is going to take away things like that ODDP from Cami that allows you to get like a side switch. Yeah. So that being off the table makes it even worse when you're dealing with that character's offense. Just in general, this top eight has a lot of variety. Yes, you still have your Lukes, but there's a Manon coming up at some point as Idom sits below. We saw the bracket previously. Yeah, we We're even have a Honda. See. Yeah, a Honda. Uh, Maris, Mar uh, Marissa from Magnegro. Yeah, yeah, right, Marissa, right. yeah. So, so y'all are getting we, a lot of variety. No Kendo. No Ken. No Ken. What does that show you, Luke Brigade? Right. What does that tell you? No Ken. Mm -hmm. Yes. Strange. But the character was everywhere. Yeah, I would say also the decider of this match is uh, no, because the way Terrence was playing yesterday, yeah, he really didn't rely too much on like button drive rush. So because of that, he's not spending three bars just from jump. Yeah, right. He's using more of like um, OD spinning bird kick to continue the combos, which only spends two bars. Cammy though, she she's more of a button drive rush. So yes. we're gonna see how good Sammy's like meter management in terms of the drive gauge really is. Very important for this character. You know, also, she's got many ways to be meterless in terms of getting Oki. Yep. You know, get a conversion into Spiral Arrow to do that pressure. But here's Terrence. Ooh. Dive kick, clips a crouching medium kick. That's what he blasts oh right there and calls out the ODDP. Look at that damage. Cammy doesn't do that much damage, though. That's what people say as well, too. Oh, that's that's, that's crazy because uh, <laughs> the screen is a little bit different, my guy. Yeah, the side switch was really good also with Terrence. Nice using the jab, jab, spinning bird kick. All right, yep, crouching heavy punch is also a great medium in that situation. A lot of range. Uh, let's go. Throw. One throw away, yep, drive rush. The super nice. of all things from the back door, Houdini, you didn't even see me. Oh my Dang. god, that was magical. That was godlike, yo, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy, ready. that was a read too. Sammy's like, I think you're gonna wake up. I'm not gonna press a button until the latest frame. I wonder if it would've worked out against ODDP also. Yeah, I think like, that man, godlike. Yeah, probably the ODDP would've probably went through as well too. Any reverse of Sammy, calculated. Wait for the lightning lake. Of course, that is one of the best wake up options. We do a punish counter and corner carry, but Sammy was ready to block that out. Yeah, look at that. Caught up in the corner still. Yep, and that stand jab from Terrence. But Sammy is also one hit away from winning in this situation. Yeah, next hit. So she's going to have that level three if she wants to. Uh oh. Uh huh. We're good. We're good. We're good. Well, so you want to see Sammy's health because honestly, he's in the lead. He's leading. Terrence is bleeding. It's a one touch of Dario. And there it is. Just a tap. Sammy. Just a tap right there. It's tough. I'm telling you, Cammy is a really, she, she's a bully. She is a bully. She is a bully. Strike throw. Was a bully. Yeah, strike throw, bully. She also has a dive kick because even, because Chung Lee loves using crouching medium kick, right? Mm -hmm. All these low buttons. So the dive kick is going to clip that as well. Yeah, I've also seen a clip and clip Russ if you throw it out in the wrong sort of way. But uh, no anti air. I'm happy with this character. I know it's hard because her jumpers are like a mix of worried about dive kicks and blows and throws and things like that. But you have to get those anti airs. They can't fight back with the dive kick. It does have a big hurt box on it, but uh, I haven't seen too much. Terrence is on the ground, though. The commitment, it worked out. Put a, put a ring on it, bro. Put there a ring go. on it. Oh, no spin knuckle there. Sammy got to watch out using that drive gauge. Terrence. Healthy. Ter yeah, Terrence is healthy. Oh, Ooh, we burned Sam out. Beers. He said, I got an anti air for you. Yeah. <laughs> Impact oh. caught him on the way down. Yeah. That, that should be the round. It should be. That was meaty as hell, too. Oh, falling off the bone. Man. Ten show kick to do it. You know what's wild is I talked to Buddy, 
yeah. one of the homies. He knows Terrence. He's like, Terrence, he's a great player. Great fundamental sound, as you see right there. The hit confirm in the swift thrust. They're going to pick up that level two, but he doesn't really mesh well with the, me the mechanics. He's not, like, fully in tune with that stuff. It doesn't matter. His footsie game is next level. It actually just allows him to be solid in this game right now. He's playing the fundies. He's playing the fundies right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I can see that because I would say Terrence doesn't really utilize too much raw drive rush, right? Yeah. And because of that, and you can see that raw drive rush, that was an optimal combo from Sammy. That was great. Wow. Using the forward heavy kick from Cammy. Oh, yes. That's the that's the gimmick right there. Mm -hmm. Drive rush. The flip kick. Never mind. Terrence, you know what the thing you drive rush is through. Mm, does the so much super. damage. And it's not over yet, too. If, it's if, not if, over. Yeah. There's more? There's more. There's more. Yeah, he could have got one more hit after that <laughs> with, the, with the launch, right? Jump cancel afterwards. Yup. You're absolutely right. This character being able to continuously have that pressure off these level twos. Imperative. We're one to one right now in terms of games. Yeah, one to one. The one thing Sammy's doing a really good job is that he's always pushing Terrence in the corner first, right? right. Getting a bit of damage off, and Terrence has to kind of fight back after that. Yeah, we can do that quite a bit. Talk to the spiral arrows for the corner carry. All these conversions lead to that option. No whiff punish. Yeah, that Stan Pierce is out and about for a long time. Bless that button. Bless that button. Okay, saying jab, jab. All the jabs are coming out right now. They're so scared of pressing any big buttons right here. You know what you want to whip? Yeah, they're playing this. They're playing the neutral. I mean, these are the two characters that are very like good heavy neutral characters. Well, Terrence, you know, having that character trying to leave with such great lock speed. Yeah, that's Keep safe on block. Oh. Safe, yeah, not punishable. Oh, fishes for the perfect parry. Didn't get it though. The drive rush again. Sammy not having a lot of bar. Maybe that's doesn't have to commit, man. That's what I'm saying. That's the yeah. thing about Cammy because you. It's really hard to hit confirm crouch medium kick in the spower arrow. Yeah, that's that's actually facts. They definitely took that away. That uh, low play into uh, special move. Yep. Oh, there we go. Launch. Boom, boom. Go for the Spears. safe jump and the dash. Oh no, we're going for level two. Let's get oh, some extra damage. Oh, I get it to kill the drive game. Yep. Jump fierce for more decision. He burned himself out. Yeah. He did get the hit. He tried to go for the perk parry. Mm -hmm. He made a flinch. Oh, Ashy, that Sammy. Does a, that does a lot of damage, though. Impact with for limb. Yeah, take it away. Oh, nice. no great punish. Oh. buffed out. Let it rip. Sammy has critical art, though. Six seconds on the clock. Time's winding down. Oh. Sammy's back with bar. Terrence with nothing. Sammy has the lead. I have never seen a time over. It's really rare to see a time over in Street Fighter Six. That's crazy. Sammy playing. Incredible, finds a fantastic jump in, gets that round start fireball. And again, as you pointed out, taking him in the corner expeditiously, now getting Grizzly, mauling this cat up. Sammy's doing good. He's taking the momentum right now. Because Terrence thought he had the win. Yeah. He backed away in the last second and everything. He's like, yeah, I think I got the win. It's like, no, no, you got to There's a little more help. Let's sign Sammy. Sammy does have bar at the bottom. That level three is flash. And Terrence, you're not lasting. Oh, you're dead. Oh, yeah. no. Are we going for the easy tournament combo? Yes, we are. Yeah. Tournament combo. It's special to seal the deal. 2 1. Big ups to Sammy. How he's beating the pressure of the fireballs and then also going for this corner kill. Good about the meter management, too. He's getting better and better as his rounds going down. You barely ever see him on E. He's on game point against Terrence. Yeah, it's also really tough, right? Because the thing about Terrence, like, he wants to throw fireballs, but the thing is, you can't because you're scared of the Cammy, the Cammy player's reaction, right? Sammy's shown that he can just spin knuckle through fireball already. So it's like now you're taking something away from Terrence's game and playing more of Cammy's games now. Yeah, that's a critical thing here for uh, Tommy. Not being able to walk around that fireball. Yeah, I'm getting scooped all day as well, too. There we go. Mm, I nice. like that jump back. Has some form this time. Drive oh. impact. Oh, no, we react. Here's the clap back. And you're burnt out. Yeah, with side switch right there. Nice combo. Scared. Are we going to go for the drive impact? Or a lot of respect is happening right now. Yeah, too much to see that stand light kick. Being able to send Sammy outside that corner. Spiral arrow right after it. Can we see? Yeah, there we go. Spin knuckle. Just throw it out. Sometimes you gotta check, you know, you gotta check. Just to see. Just yeah, to just to see. Because Heavy Punch Spin Knuckle is plus on block as well, anyway. Let's we'll see Terrence deal with that. Oh, double Sammy's burnout. burnout. That was a double burnout. Double burnout. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, chip damage right here. Probably spend level two if you wanna really seal deal. Maybe OD Fireball. Oh. Doesn't react. There was no DP. There we go. Yeah, level two. It. 
He's almost spin his bar. Oh, oh he got the drive gauge oh, back. He stays alive, boys. There's Dan Pierce it, it, with the pop off he, on set point. That was really unfortunate. Oh, no, he should have spit it early when he yeah, said. Yeah, he got the drive gauge back just in time. You gave him spoilers, too. You're like, hey, man, if you do it right here, you actually win. Was I spoiling? It yeah, didn't I happen, though. Word. I think maybe he wanted to keep that bar, but a little bit too late on the draw. Okay, back medium punch anti -air. doesn't doesn't commit to the shimmy. Damn, the shimmy game with Sammy. Yeah. Oh man, he's nasty, but he missed that dive kick. Unfortunate. Oh, next hit will be crucial right now for Sammy. Yeah, next hit's gonna win now from one drive rush, one crouching medium kick. There it is. That should be enough. Punish counter oh. to put him down. Sammy takes the round and moves on to winners finals. Sammy said, I don't even watch the, the cutscene, bro. I'm just out of here. Give me my next set. Give me the next set. It's going to be Cammy versus JB in winner's finals, but we're not going to get that yet. You yeah. know, we have to see the other matches as well, too, because in the loser's bracket, there's four more, well, six more players waiting to see what's going to happen. That's right. So I'm telling you, even more action out here at DreamHack Atlanta. Hey, yo, shout out to DreamHack for putting this on and actually putting on a lot of fighting games. Yeah. Tournaments all throughout, and even digitally supporting through TNS and many other programs. So... It's great to see the unity of fighting games and things outside of fighting games and seeing people walk up here and be like, what is this? For also some of these people here, it's their first time at a tournament. I met someone from uh, Trinidad. And he's like, yeah, this is my first tournament. Came out here for Smash. Yeah. And he's like, this is great. I got to come back. Yeah, we, we met that guy. Uh, he was like, dad, he just yeah, came out. Yeah, that dude too also. Right? Yeah. It I'm, was really like, cool. Bring the family. Bring come the family right you here. Didn't come so. out this year. Come on next year. Yeah, You're they, missing out. Yeah, because this is Atlanta was the end of the year, but before we had uh, San Diego. Yes. Right? And we had Dallas and Dallas other, other places around the world in Europe as True. well. They had DreamHack Japan for Third Strike and Virtual Fighter as well, too. That was amazing. Y'all need me to come out there, me and Justin Wong. We can run the comms out there if you know what to do. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> but okay, our next match is going to be an interesting one. Larsness versus Magnegro. Honda versus Marissa. We actually seen this match a few times yesterday. Mm -hmm. right? With, with your friend Buddy. Oh, buddy, yeah. And I believe he fought Larsness. And Honda was just doing Honda things. Them headbutts were too them difficult to deal with. Right? You have to perfect parry. You cannot block them out continuously. He kills the drive gauge. If you kill the drive gauge, well, you kill the character. And that's what happened. I yeah. feel like if you're a Marisa player, you know, Gladius is like one of those go-to answers against like butt slam. But against headbutt, it's not so favorable. The you armor. Have, you have to have the armor, as you pointed yeah, out. I want to see more of that. Yeah. The armor is really good. You don't get a lot of damage, but it gets the job done. Right, exactly. That's the most important part. Right, but Larson is also like he was really good with his headbutt timings. He doesn't just like throw it out from full screen and pray. Yeah, like just it's hope he gets the knockdown. Yeah, it's more of like a footsie range, more yeah. more towards like that. I would say sweep range where he throws out with like jab headbutt or heavy punch yeah, headbutt. Yeah, you're right. The light punch headbutts were really good and really well timed. Yeah, so that's really good. Uh, and Marissa really can't really use Superman punch too much because jab headbutt will always anti her that mm -hmm. one. Um, so it's gonna be tough. But if Honda does commit, I would say Magnigo is probably going to just be pressing standing medium punch because that standing medium punch target combo just, for some reason, sucks the character it in. It doesn't make any sense. It it's doesn't. It's so good. It's like a tandem engine from, from Seth from Street Fighter it 4. It really is, and it leads into so much. Obviously, if you run the second hit, it's punishable. But someone like Magnigro or top-level Marisa players won't be doing that, right? And someone like Magnigro is a footsie-based monster, yes. right? We've seen him year after year, previously on the, on the birdie. Before that, was with the Sea Viper. He makes any character that he touches a nasty threat. He even got in the Capcom Cup last year yep. in the finals. So, I mean, that could also happen this year, too, as well. He could. West coming up in a couple of weeks. But anyway. He's no slouch. He's that's what, that's, no slouch. What we, that's what we want to tell you guys. Yes, this guy is ridiculous. So, Larceny will have his work cut out for him. But, hey, shout out to Larceny to get this top. Eight spot. We've done a lot of competitors on the way up. We had a lot of competitors just in general out here at Dream Pack. It's great to see people coming up for Street Fighter 6 still. Yeah, and you know? and we talk about character variety. I mean, this is character variety right here. So what y'all wanted? Y'all didn't want to see no JP, no Ken? We have it right here for you. So we don't have to know what's going on. Yeah, we haven't seen Honda in the in a top eight for a, I would say a while now, right? You're in, right. In, the, in the light, limelight. Yeah. He, he's more of like that that rank Street Fighter 6 rank match character. Get you the master real right, quick. Get you the master <laughs> real quick, right? Get people upset. Get yeah. people one and done you. Yeah. But we have yeah, but we have Honda right here. So like we, we saw this match yesterday and it's definitely in I would say in Honda's favor because he Honda struggles against projectiles. Marissa doesn't really have projectiles. But we'll see Magnego adapting. Okay, jab uh, headbutt started right away. Yup. See? Poke. Right there. It's just, it's just using it at the good ranges where you're walking forward and not expecting it. Yeah, you have to establish a little more neutral here. 
Superman punch, yep. nothing doing. Nice parry. Again. There we go, yep. Crouching jab, jab, headbutt always works out as well, too. Spacing that he's keeping at right now is fantastic. Mm. Right, careful with the drive case, finds the anti right there with the headbutt. Hit him the Dostoy. Dostoy. But for some reason, the amount of damage that Larson is doing, like, he... His drive gauge is lower. Yeah. Uh oh. Kind of wild. And you never want to be burnt out against Marissa. Strange to not see the drive rush forward. Magneto. Oh. Set on that drive impact. Two for that does get the stand B punch. Quite common. We talked about that. This is it. The right here. Kick, the impact. Oh, it might be a ramp. Yeah, we have level two on deck too. Yeah, let me see it. Let me see it. And OD. Look at right. that. That is good night. What a turnaround. What happened? Marissa. Yeah, okay. That's two touch Teresa. That's Marisa. Whatever you call her, that's what you call her back. Yeah, like, he was playing so well. If, if he didn't really focus too much on just drive rush with Honda and just focus on the jab headbutt game, mm -hmm. using the OD headbutts to, uh, just to defend himself, he would not have been in that position. That's actually wild that you could just keep it pretty simple, right? That's one thing that you preach quite a bit. It's like, keep it simple until you need to, you know? I always, I always want to say, like, just let let the other person kill themselves. Right, yeah. Let them falter. Let them, which can happen a lot. Cheap yeah, because they, they're the one that have to get in. It's the matchup. Oh, we're getting it right now. Are we going to go for another command grab? We talked about Magneto loving the command grab. Oh, he loves that drive impact. And bro, here's the charge up. Magneto with the finish. More aggressive start that round. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. What's the change up? The story. Lots of drive gates. Look at that. That's three, three drive gates from block damage. Yeah. All sapped nice. away. Nice. you talking the about the armor. Yeah. Have to have the right range for it, but it definitely helps when it works out. The charge up is there. Has a call for the corner. Not where Honda wants to be. He lacks his maximum defense. You can't backdash away from throws. Doesn't really have a good wake up decision. Yes, OD have butt, but can't lose the throws. Yeah. So. It, and he also doesn't really have a great side switch. He has butt yeah. slams, but the thing is, the butt slam can lose the perfect parry. And from there, it's like you're going to just get back into the corner regardless. Yeah, and take that punish you. counter grab, too. Yeah, it's not going to be looking good. Okay, let's see. The close. Walking around. Yep, using that charge Gladius. Gladius, why not? Let's throw it out. Oh, Ooh. something. <laughs> Punish yeah. counter. Okay. And Where you see you the clip out he waited and baited. Bold with that in fold. Mag Negro. Got that grip. Yeah, he's doing really good right here. Marissa coming in hot. Like a lot more this year. Nice. Too. Perfect parry. You have to do that against the headbutt. We talked about that. Look at this. You're looking for the point here. Not so much a damage. Big reward, though. Sumo slam. Try to go for the back throw. Didn't work out. Nice whiff punish. We're not spending it yet, are we? I don't think so. Okay, yeah. Next, For sure, the next touch, possibly. Look at that. He is pressing his buttons. Bro, the hell? Is he dead, though? Oh, that, yeah. It's close, oh, right? I, bro, I'm going to say it right now. Time to this right now. You're dead. You're dead of the dead. Wait, he's now a big boy. You know he's history. a big boy. He is a big boy. Wow, Jeb Headbutt. Larson's half critical art. That's, this could tie it up. Lie to you all. It's the one touch. The oh. anti is right there. The crouch fears. Finds ready. the mark. He was ready for the anti -air. It's predictive, too. The anti is yeah. very slow. It's very slow. Usually, her better anti is like jump back jab. But mm -hmm. I mean, crouching heavy punch can work out for a lot of anti -airs. But I would say, because Magneto just has so much life lead at this point, he's like, you're the one that has to take risk to try to get damage, right? right. So I was like, I'm gonna just wait for you. If you jump on the anti or you, if you drive rush, maybe I'll just let you rock and just take a grab because you know what? Sometimes you just have to take the throw, right? Sometimes you actually have to take the throw. Don't do it too much though. Don't do it too, too much? Yeah, don't do too much. Street Fighter 5 taught you that, huh? Yeah, Street Fighter 6 taught me, uh, don't do it too much. Uh, <laughs> where are you going? Here we Dang, go. Dang, dying on some dirt face down to the ground. Yeah, three for three on the command grabs. Hit him with a downward dog. Forward Back. heavy kick, that's a low. Yeah, and that's also the thing. You see Magneto whipping a lot of parries because he's trying to go for a perfect parry right there. Right. And like, as a Marissa player, you have to go for more perfect parries because, you know, that can start so much of your offense and change the tie of the game. Oh, it's not definitely for offense nice. right there. And burnout looking very ashy. That was great. Larson is. We're taking that chip damage. Oh, the side switch. He's able to get the hit. And that's it. Set point, Magneto. You know, we do have, well, we had someone of a Honda when Ramsey did play this character, so I know that Magneto knows how to play against this character. Yeah. Yo, Diablo Bison, my boy, also plays this character too as well. So Magneto, well versed in finding all the hits that he needs. The perfect parry, the back throw is here. All right, got him in the corner. There we go, stand me and punch. That's Honda's button. That's that's the plus button right there. Nice yes. tech on the grab. 
Magneto trying to defend using the using the light punch Gladius for the armor. Ooh! So if you're punch, he backed up, let it win. He got the hit. Was that level three? No, we're no, not spending know. it yet. We we want to save it. Uh oh. The but back dash. That could be greedy though. There we go. Never mind. It worked yeah. out. It's fine. It's fine. Staving off set points. Larson is still in it. Remember, loser side. You lose this, you go home. Oh, tries to get for the standing series again. Didn't work out. A little too far. Oh, he butt slam. Back row. Punish counter, so extra damage. Driver stand fierce. Goes to the low. The crouching light kick. Finds the opener. Oh, my God. Level again. three. Not yet. I thought he was going to spend level three. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. Oh, Press the wrong button. Don't finish the job. Oh. Cross the Gladys to steal the deal. Animation. I want you to watch the cutscene. That was no animation. Skipping. You know what? I respect Mag Magneto not going for the level three because he didn't want us to watch the cutscene. Ah, I see. Thank you. Thank you for that. Because eventually we see so many level threes, we just kind of want to skip it, right? It's like, move on to the next match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a crazy combo. Back, charge, back, heavy punch, and the sweep. I, I never seen that combo before. You really don't see people use sweeps like that, but Magneto is one of those players that will take everything that the character has and make use of it. So you've seen that with Birdie. Yeah. You've seen that with T-Viper. So you're saying he likes to practice unnecessary combos. Yeah. Just wants to see what what works. I like people like that. They just enjoy their character so that, much. That, They're like, I know this is an optimal or I know this isn't going to kill, but I just want to do it. I want to do some, I want to have like, it's, it's like a VX battle with his like taunt JP level yeah, 2 stuff, right? Yeah, he's just doing the lean back and the stuff lean like that. back like with the cane. It don't do nothing. But it's cool. It's cool. It is cool, yeah. right? That combo was pretty cool. I didn't really see, I, and you don't really see too many of those like interesting two-hit combos or combos that don't really make sense. But yeah, he could have definitely killed with just back heavy punch, back heavy punch, and do whatever three. you want afterwards, yeah, all right? That good stuff. But yo, good stuff either way. The Magnum Girl, he's moving on in the bracket, and so are we to a faded match that we have seen a lot of times online. Yeah, a online lot of times. quite a bit now offline, but in a different sort of position again, as you had mentioned. Loser side instead of winner side of all things. So it was Dual Kevin that lost to a fantastic hockey player. Campaign. Campaign. That was the name. And then Idom had lost to Harm. Harm. The Honda. Honda Harm. And if you guys don't know, these two are seasoned, seasoned players. Dual Kevin is in Capcom Cup this year. Idom is your reigning Capcom Cup champion from last year for Street Fighter V. Yeah, this cat uh, has to go through a very hellish world uh, qualifier. Not even World Warrior, I'm sorry. Qualifier, CPT qualifier for East Coast coming up. But uh, he, he said a compliment, confident today. He said he was very confident. With Manon. He said he loves the game. He loves Street Fighter Six. He loves playing Manon. He thinks that she's very strong. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> So I, I would say Oop. I would say Manone, like in terms of Manone players, yeah, Idov, Joey, FGC, they put her, they make her really good. They make her look really good. Yeah. Right. But I'm obviously we know that in terms of like the tier list, Manone's on the lower end of sides. Even though she has a really good command grab of everything with like five medals, uh, great normals, but she's just missing a few tools that really can put her in the top ten like yeah. seat. Right, she doesn't have any special cancelable um, like heavies, so she can cancel standing heavy punch into super, but she can't do like standing heavy punch into like a regular special move, like a command grab or hit like command grab, pressing kick, right. nothing, right? Yeah. So she'll lose to a lot of like drive impact. So like standing heavy kick can be drive impactable as well too. Uh, the overhead kick can be drive impactable as well too. So one thing she does have is she has great anti airs, and because yes. Dual Kevin is picking Rashid. Uh, Rashid like sometimes like to take in the air, and I would say Manon's really good at catching people in the air. Yeah, crouch right. fears, bro. Crouch fears. Right now, OD crescent kicks. Yeah, yeah. Something that he should have used was find the Honda player. We'll see if he uses it right here. And loser side against Dual Kevin. Idom on the Manon. Dual Kevin on the Rashid. Okay, let's see. Oh, Dual Kevin. I'm surprised because Dual Kevin, you know, we we know that he qualified with Luke. Yes. Right, and I would say Luke would do really good against Manon because Manon doesn't really have the best anti-projectile tool, and that is definitely punishable. Oh, but that's a big, big punish here. Might he does at least get another medal on the deck, but very strange here from Blue Kevin. Yeah, yeah, standing heavy kick right there. But it's also one of those things because, oh, like, again. yeah, like I think you see the potential of Rashid, right? More Rashid players have seen that. I think Dual Kevin's like, you know what? I need to get my Rashid on par because Capcom Cup is right. coming, right? Really, really soon. Make this character prepared for the biggest tournaments in the world. Nice super, though. Not dead. Has a drop in the corner. Oh, Better that... find the finish, bro, because now you're in burnout, and this is bad. One of the barons of burnout themselves is Rashid. He loves this, but stops him from coming in. 
That was a great I, check. Weird, yeah. yeah, that was a great check. I mean, her buttons are really good about that. You yeah. hitbox on them? Yeah, you were saying really, that earlier. Really good. Right, crash me and punch, stand me and punch. I was, in, I was in Zapparino's stream, and he was talking to somebody about that, and they were going through the hitboxes, and we were watching that, and I was like, this character is a criminal. It just doesn't lead to anything. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say criminal. It's because the thing is, you're still reacting perfectly, right? You true, have to react true. perfectly with the button as well, too. And you don't get too much, right? You also have to spend drive gauge um, to kind of, like, get more of the optimal damage, or you can commit to kind of, like, a special move, right? But right. normally, if you're a Manon player, you can, you're going to want to get the medals. Oh, yeah. You're, that's that's kind of the problem with her, is that you have to get those medals as you're part of your win condition, where the characters don't have to to level up their strength. There nice. we go. Oh, he's in that right space and place. Now sends up the SR. Oh. oh, I think he tried to spin through. I saw the OD. I think he tried to command grab for he no reason. He tried to command grab? I was like, you know what? Maybe if you come next to me, I might just get the command grab pull, pulling off. You know, it's the thing. Is when you see Rasheed's level two, yeah. oh, this, I think this is enough for sure. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Yeah, when you see Rasheed's level two, like, you don't want to just take it. Yeah, you want to do something you, around it. You want to try to, like, avoid the potential damage, the potential, like, mix. Because that's at least like 10 seconds of Rashid doing whatever he wants. Killing your gauge. Right, killing your gauge. Going for like, you know, punish kind of throws if you're like holding parry. Yeah, yeah. right. He, he, he could just stare at your face and see that you see this tornado and you're like, I can't do anything about it. So I know, thought maybe he's going to run towards me, use the speed of it, and then the command grab will just like kind of like connect with each other. Well, I don't even have to worry about Rashid anymore. He plays so solid that the. Uh, Luke. Man said, let me get Luke Lear. Shouts to F-word. Luke is coming. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, Sandblast oh, no. is really good against Manone. Like, Manone can twirl through it, but the thing is, it's you don't really get too much. Like, mm -hmm. it's it's one of those things that's not really as useful compared to when you're fighting against a character that has, like, a slower fireball recovery. Yeah, it's more like a hit scan sort of fireball, right? Yep. Like, it's hard to call out. If you find the right distance, it's such a big Oh, win. my God. Yeah, look at the reward on this crouching media punch. Right? Not doing the heavy. Yes, sir. Has to in the corner for a kill for fears. I now takes back the turn after that block four fears. Yeah, that, nice. Oh, Kevin, the impact lands. Yeah, there we go. Go for that second medal. Oh, again. Yeah, this is for that one. Drive rush again, and you're burnt out. We're going to go for the infinite. He backed up just enough to get that counter hit. Still back up in the corner. Did not get the splash. This owner at overhead. Stay medium. Back heavy punch. A command grab. Gets a grip, and that's it. And what's blessed about this is he has three medals, four damage, all those command grabs. More things for Blue Kevin to have to worry about. Yeah, it's a, it's more of a mental stack, right? The more you fight Manone, the more you're like, oh, this is a mental stack at this point because I don't want her to have all these medals going in. Because if you think about, like, if I win the second round of Duel Kevin, yeah. possibly Item will have five medals at that point, right? Yeah. Okay. It'll get worse for you. Be yeah, careful. Yeah, Crouch medium kick's really good. Nice, nice punish right there. On guard. He pushed the corner. His drive page, he deleted, deleted. That Stan Fierce almost about to get the perfect parry is there. Punish Ooh, counter. Don't touch me. And you're burnt out. You're going to get hit by the infinite. Are you going to react, though? That's the real question. Is can Duel Kevin react against the infinite? A forward of just medium punch, medium punch. Medium punch, medium punch. Careful to drive impact, though. You'll hit that super. It gets a gap. No gaps, my friend. Drive rush, throw. Nice. Gets a grip. That's five, five medals. That's five. Five felonies. Oh, he finds the hit that he needs. He's got the bar at the bottom. He's going to go for it just yet. He wants the Oki. Yeah. Back throw. He wants to kill with the critical art, right? He has to at this point. You kind of have to use it. Find an opening, though. I don't blocking low, blocking his toes. Opened up by that crouching light kick. Oh, the jumping! Item has just kind of like those like kind of jumps out of nowhere. It just always Psychic. works out. And because Duel Kevin's known as having oh. a, such a great anti too, right? His anti is always on point. He, he, he just did the anti there because he didn't expect Item to jump. Yeah, like, why would you do it right now? Yeah, why would why you? Would you do that? And just because of that jump, I mean, eventually he got the hit, and now he's 2-0 against Duel Kevin. So all that uh, Stan Pierce to, to hit, he stays compact. CQC, yeah. you, see, you see, he stays so compact. He gets a character that will kill you for getting blessed by that crouch with a punch. Nice sweep off the feet. Bait out the ODDP for free. Oh, yes. Big damage right there. Look at that. And that was the command grab right after. Damn. Couldn't want anything better than a play. Right? That was optimal. And the reason why he did, like, kind of like that jab, jab, jab combo, because the, cause you can only get stand jab into quarter circle back light kick, mm -hmm. right? And then you get the Oki. It's a better Oki in that situation. As a grappler, you always want that, and this should be enough. We're going to get another grab right here using the OD version. Some extra, a little bit extra more damage, right? We're going with three medals down, and also Ion at match point. 
two games, one round, and three medals. Do Kevin. He needs to find the other Kevin right now to help him out. I don't know what he's doing. I see a single Kevin on the stage. Where's the other one at? Where's the other one at? I don't, I don't know. know man. He's waiting at they Capcom. Find him. He's waiting at Capcom Cup. Oh, oh my God. Land. He landed that? Yeah, I guess they landed. He knew? He knew he was going to use that. Actually, Duke Kevin was that button, so it makes sense. Yeah. But to call that out, though. The burnout out, too. That was so smart. Using the level two and then using stand heavy punches. Just just take out the remaining drive gauge. And now you're getting anti-aired. And you're just drive impact. This could be enough. We have level one. We're walking forward. We're going to get a double drive rush combo. No. Uh, uh, the the level one. Well. Not dead, Look yo. Look done. Not enough. Bars back. Oh. But oh, DDB. Oh. He baits it out again and I don't. The tilt. His win, man. That was a tilt right there, that I think. Was that was the I give up. Yeah. All right, man. You got it from I here. I give up. You got it from here, bro. Manon, we... Okay. I mean, yeah. sure, sure. She she is on the lower tier list for sure, uh -huh. lower end of the tier list. But the thing is, Ida makes her look really good. Yeah. Right. And he loves the game, so it helps he, out. He loves the game. It's a great game, according to Ida. Um, God's game, baby. Yeah, God's game. God's game, baby. Let's go. <laughs> God's game. But I would say the one thing that I, I like about just Idom is that he's just so good at walking people down. Yeah. Like he's really like them. controlling people, controlling them. You would assume like he's playing Zangief. Yeah. Like how Snake Eyes walks people hunts. down. Yeah. But he does it with Manon. It's, and then I think that's just really good to see because it gives hope and inspiration to other Manon players out there because, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are like, I need her to get buffed. I want her to get buffed. Yeah. But she's literally probably one good buff away from being really, really good character. That's true. I saw Minard D talking about, should I play this character for a little bit to show y'all that she's actually really good? So there's some hidden strengths that people don't know about. But again, this is a game where the power levels are so high overall. It's just that the power levels are higher for the top tier characters. Yes. And that she's weaker to the top tier characters just in general. But if you have someone like I, I'm a Captain Cup champion, you might be able to take them to that victory spot. Have to listen, listen, no, 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 no. I, I, um, is he's just waiting for the season two buffs. He's waiting for the season two buffs. He did that with Laura. He, he did that. Did. With, he played Laura the whole entire game. Is you know what? Eventually, Laura's gonna get buffed, and she did season in season two, two right? And everything. Stand medium kick. Right. So, I mean, yeah. I, I would expect Manon, like, if uh, when, whenever there's a patch after possibly Capcom Cup, who knows? Um, we would have some buffs and nerfs for sure across the board. And yeah. I, I would say Manon probably will have something new for sure, right? Yo, quick question, though. Do you think they should change the characters or the system? Ah, oh, man, that's an interesting one. I feel like so the systems would have to be tweaked around a bit. Yeah, no right? matter what, no matter what. No matter what, like maybe that, make right? drive reversal better, like a little bit yeah. faster. Be that's maybe, what I would like. It's against, uh, you could do it against medium attacks, possibly, or specific medium attacks. Because uh, right now it's just so slow. Yeah. Um, I would say drive, like drive rush. I think drive rush is fine. I think it is too. I, I think, think maybe uh, putting punch counter on it. Maybe. I, I, I think that's okay. I think perfect parry though. That's yeah. different. Like a little more recovery on that guy. Well, it's more of like it should be it should be punishable. Because third yeah. strike, if you tap board or tap down, it's, you, you can get punished because you can't block right away. Right, yeah. So I think if you can use perfect parry and then there's like that one frame of you can punish it, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, I think I agree. I don't want too more. But we got Jerry, game. though. He, what happened to I'm only playing Luke Punk? I don't know, but I think at this point, the loser, loser bracket punk is different. That's true. Right? That's demonic. That's like, it's time to win, bro. Yeah, loser bracket punk. And Jerry is also one of those characters. You know, we she's not in the top eight. Mm -hmm. And so this is our first time seeing her in the top eight. But she's one of those characters that, from the beginning of the game, has always been good. She does a really good job in this matchup, too, as well. Like, Big Bird thinks that this one of the matchups for this character actually cooks Larissa in. That crouching medium punch is really good against damn near many specials that Larissa wants to do. Her drive rush buttons are nasty, too. Yeah, the I mean, strike throw up in the corner. This is her drive rush balls. in general. Ooh. That medium punch. That's a Street Fighter 5 button right there. Look at that. You just press medium punch the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, the uh. OEDP works out here for Punk. Yo, but, but Punk is burnt out, though. Never mind. Doesn't matter. The fireball lockdown. Real big part of this character's game plan. Let's out that fireball and then rule the neutral. Yeah, the link the fireball linger is just so good. And that's also really good too against the Gladius. If you can't really whiff Gladius punch because standing heavy punch is so good with Jury to kind of whiff punish against that. Hey, this also said that this is a look for that too as well. Kind of goading my game bro continuously. Wow. The Pierce again as a shimmy situation. Stocking up in between. Two. Three. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, stand medium kick right there for Matt Negro. The fireball is like that safe and solid. Oh, what the parry? It's a blue kind of day, dog. Oh, we want, the meat. we want the meaty, huh? Oh, God. He gets a crushing medium kick, slips it in. 
Oh no, we don't know the combo. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what happened right there. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Oh, we didn't go to. We didn't. We didn't take him to the wall. Oh, he's about to fall the super awake if the bullet to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To beat the first game. I thought he was to gonna. Punk. I thought he was gonna spend the level three. I feel like 801 Strider would have definitely hit that level three from like that crouching light. Yeah. Just take him to the wall because you're burnt out because it's automatic corner carry, right? And from there, you have to guess when you drive it back, and that's the guess for game in that situation. I think a lot of Marisa players have to get comfortable with using the bar to do those things and finishing it off from there. Yeah, yeah. The, the first early meta was like, let me get that level three and get to kill them from there. But now it's like, how do I use that bar and other elements of the ways? So we have though. Okay. Worked out. Got that wrong. Oh. Nice. Yeah, it's just so hard. Like you said, this this is a, a hard matchup for Marissa just because she has like these normals that just stays out there for so long. And against a character, against a person, Punk, who just whiff punishes anything. Right. Right. And with Jury's great button, it's like you're going to get whiff punished a lot. Like there. Game just again. like that. Even with an advancing normal as forward medium punch with Marissa, still gets whiff punished, right? And the reward is so good, but he just has no fear. None. Oh, oh nice. There, there we go. go. Stand here from side of Magnet. I can do that too. Yeah, safe jump right here too. Oh, you well, tried to hold up. Kick. Yeah. You thought it was the command grab. Careful now. Off of the corner. Oh, the deep is the pandemic kick lands. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, we got the. Okay, okay. American resets. Yeah, man, you were playing good there, man. That was that was a good standing heavy kick. And the stand fierce too as well against the fierce from Punk side yeah. of things. Very smart stuff. Interrupts against the drive rush. Gets the knockdown. Drive rush like. Oh, oh, could have could have whiffed right there, but I don't think he was ready for that. I think he, he was like, oh, I got hit. Yeah. That, that should combo, but because of a distance thing, it just whiffed. All right, medium, medium Gladius. And that could be interruptible right there. Yeah, because you can ODDP yeah, that. Yeah, ODDP yeah, in that situation. Most characters. Fierce. Again, Fierce, Fierce. Combo trying to charge up with the Magnum Bunker. Punk reacting with the ODDP. Knocked down with the Heavy. Nice, didn't bite from the Shimmy. Oh, the Gladius. I'm sorry, the Superman Punch. Okay, level three. Level three. Yeah, we, we're going to have to spend it. No. He doesn't, he chooses not to. He's confident. He's, he's confident, kill. is he? Oh, oh, he's buffering though. You see the blue buffer? Oh, nah, no shot! No, no way! Shot. Nah, no shot. Check bro. that controller, bro. Nah, bro. What's what's in that drink, bro? <laughs> what's in that drink, bro? From the crouching medium kick? You got to be kidding me. That's not supposed to be possible. No, let me stop. That's a he's playing classic and modern same. That means he's playing dynamic. He's playing dynamic. Oh, <laughs> uh, two games up, punk. Superman armor, nice. Okay, punish counter grab. That's some good damage. Oh, misses it. Well, walk back a little bit way too far for that with punish. It's command grab. The unfold. Fold like an omelet right now. Punk. He eats a gladius. Yeah, you might, at this point, you want to just like kind of kill that drive gauge, right? Yeah. Talked about that. Kill the drive gauge, kill the character. Magnegro. Staying up that set point. Renko kicks. Nothing after it. Not close enough to get that charge up. Yeah, that's that's such a good hit confirm button too, because it's two hits and it's cancel after the second hit. Who does drive impact also? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Jury has a really easy throw loop and an easy OP after a throw, especially in the corner. This will be enough right here. Oh, tries to go for a reset. Dash into the medium. Safe jump time. Don't leave too much to reset alive. The board heavy kick again, catching and trying to leave in hold north, but still punk lands the crouching the kick. Ends it with a DP, punk on set point. Yeah, and, and that's the hard part, right? Because the thing is, like, from that range, it's like Magneto couldn't get anything because one, punk's just walking back. What are you gonna do? Press crouch and medium kick? It's not special cancelable. You can't combo into super afterwards, so it's like, I can just use that. Nice cross cut. Oh, to so confirm, he finds it off the drive rush. We'll hit that level three and get his victory. Punk moving on 3 0 over Magneto. Fantastic footsies. Choosing to go with the Foot Clan. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, we know Punk has just an amazing footsies, fundamentals. You know, the, the the game knowledge and everything. But that that jury kind of funny though. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> that jury kind of funny with the combos and everything. Yeah. But you know, that's what Punk does. He likes to make up his own combos. Man's got some custom combos. Right, he has custom combos. I feel that. He, had, feel he, was, that. he was trying to do Feng Shui without activating Feng Shui. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can do that, but he stays solid, and uh, you know, him being such a strong player overall means that even if he isn't the most optimal, yeah. he still 
powerful in his he own is, right and still is. makes the most happen. He moves on the bracket. Moving on to as well, we have Terrence versus Idom coming Ooh, up. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a Chun hard Lee one versus too. Manone. That's difficult. Chun Li against Manone. Chun Li does really good against Manone. Really? Good. Yeah, really good. Obviously, the fireball. She has also has like that slow fireball. Yeah. So using Manone's twirl is really hard. You have to be really like kind of close to it and using it. And it can and be a bait too as yeah, well. And it could be a bait. You out and punch yeah. that. So I would say Idom's gonna probably have to rely on more of like his jumps over against the fireballs. And if you're a Chun Li player and Manon doesn't really have ways to kind of like change her jump arc like Cammy, so you don't have to worry about like dive kicks or anything like that. You know that. what's gonna come through. Yeah, so maybe we can see more of like antires with standing heavy kick to really make the jump in pay. Right, because Chun Li does have the option to use standing heavy kick and cancel in the Serenity stance and go into like any combo you want to do afterwards as an anti combo, which does like 30 to 35 percent damage. A ton. I always gotta credit my boy Pax. He said early days his character is ridiculous. How can you say a character that can anti you, air tag air you for that amount of damage that can have such great footsies, great walk speed, great fireballs? and say that she's low tier, or say that she doesn't have damage, or say that she's lacking in any of these elements. She honestly doesn't. And the way that Terrence has been playing, maybe it's not fully Street Fighter 6, but it's been fundamentally sound enough yeah. to get to this top eight spot with this character because he has a legacy. I know, I agree with that. Or we could just see Chun-Li get steamrolled by Manon, by That's a grappler, true. because Chun-Li, even though she has amazing footsies, amazing neutral, a lot of times she loses to the same way. She loses to just burst damage, mm -hmm. right? She loses to like, oh, if I guess wrong and I just take like 50% for no reason. Routing your back is hard. Yeah, I just die. Yeah. Right? So that's the one That's the one thing that I would say Idom and Manon, both characters and him, they do really good at. They're both really good at that. So she can get those medals going to We'll see Idom versus Terrence. Loses quarters. Who's yeah, he moving on? You see, we're throwing the fireballs. We're throwing yeah. the fireballs. Yep. We're going to do so for this matchup as we talked about. Right, and Terrence is playing very, ooh, oh, with punch. punch. Standing heavy punch, not the best button with Chun-Li, just not as good as compared to like old games. Yeah, if you get on hit, you like the swing stance cancels, but it has to be on hit. There we go, risky. burst. Oh, Again, another one. That's not real. Don't let him dash at you like that. And Terrence right there. Anti-air. You know what, it's probably easier to anti-air because her uh, jump is really close. So yep. even worse to jump to the skies. The crouch medium one kick. Touch. Yeah, one touch from, from Idom right there. And that crouch medium kick is so good. Lingers, nice reaction. We're able to afford it. And we're going to go to the other side. Spend the level one. That's surprising, actually. So that means Terrence still believes he can win this match. It's possible. It's doable. Not oh, so much I, now. I don't the know burnout. about that one. Look at that chip. That that, dip. That's I, it. I think that's okay, though, because even though Terrence spent one bar, Idom had to spend two bars to close out that one round. That's true. So that's. I think that's that's okay. Even though he did, Terrence did lose. He's he's satisfied with that. Yeah, you'll take that way if they're losing bar or losing resources. That's less in terms of defense. That means Idom will have a rebuttal on Waker for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. We're playing the neutral. That's what we're saying. The fireball is really hard for, for Idom to get around that. And that's also drive impactable. Anytime you see the overhead kick and you can react with drive impact. Nice back dash. Doesn't get the full combo, though. Oh, avoids another command grip. Idom trying to get handsy. Yeah, he wants that, He wants to get that five medals, man. The mental stack is really good. He the damage, too. 2,700, it's a lot. Okay, there we go. Safe jump. Uh-huh. What's the mix? Watch fears for yeah. the distance. Yeah, throw the fireball. Nice. Wow. Oh. You weren't in the air yet. Okay, that's minus two. Oh, oh he, he just lets it loose. Bro, I, I guess. Good here minus two? Nah. I'm still, it's still my turn. It's I'm making sure turn. it's my turn. That was, so that they do open the mountains, man? I Dang. guess, man. I guess, that, that was crazy. No anti air. Try to go for it. Using a drive reversal, but we're already spending four bars in the situation. Yeah, Terrence has to be careful blocking these things out. Oh, nice the burn. burnout, but finds the overhead. Yep. Also finds the level two. We'll get the pickup and we'll build up a ton more bar. Might be seeing another level two real soon here. Actually, he will be. Look at that. Yeah, One fourth back already as a return. Yeah, that's why the level two is so good because you're able to combo from heavies afterwards. You just build a chunk of meter for your resource and also drive gauge. You build a lot as well, too. And we're going to have another level two if you want to spend it. Brother, we just saw it. Yeah. Sends it out again to get the win this time. Medium punch, jump, medium punch afterwards. Oh, Fierce, Fierce? Is not enough. Oh, was it enough? Oh. He actually gets the super. Play the music. Play the tapes.
It's not enough, but you know, it's something to get started because you guess what? You're burnt out. We're gonna dry fresh. We're gonna take you to the corner and everything. There it is. Yep. Oh, no, the challenge to check. I think he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped the input from Chad yeah, because he did standing heavy up so close. It's like, why would you do standing heavy kick there? But I want to, yeah, he definitely dropped the input for that one. For this game to win. But Terrence, he said, shake my hand. My hand. There we go, the jump in against the fireball. That's what Idom's gonna have to rely on. Yeah, that fireball's and then a big reward inside of Idom. Driver's oh. back throw, though, which is positions. Yeah, throw the fireball again. Don't you wanna, yeah, you see oh, it? It's, we talked about that as a big. It's, it's not good. It's, it's not, not good. It's really hard. Like, you have to really rely on jump ins and any type of commitment that Chung Lee does for kind of a known to, like, really counter, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, we really went for the fake. We really went for the reset. He medals now. Idom finds another jump in to get the win. Reading the fireballs and reading the tendency here of Terrence. He's going to have to be careful. He's got these fireballs. I remember it was Jammers, I believe, talking about how these fireballs are what get a lot of Charlie Ferris in trouble. They're not used to zoning in this sort of way. Yeah, it's also that. And it's just like you kind of have like patterns, right? And if you're a grappler player like Idom, like he's going to know when you're going to press these buttons. Right, when you're gonna throw these fireballs. He's gonna try to see these fireball fans and get these jump ins and he landed two already, right? That's true. Going to land one solid punish counter, one command grab. Yeah, take the grab, go back to the fireball game. Oh, the jump but in the again. jump in. One to one. That's three jump heavy kicks in one game. He is feeling freaky and yeah. froggy. I don't think this guy's quite a bit. Yeah, we need to look for the anti airs. Okay, oh, good reactions right, right there. Maybe I'm looking for a piece of button here from Nice. Terrence. Okay, I like that. Attack on drive game. Yeah, yeah, attack on drive game. Yeah. But Chung Lee's drive game is not looking good, though. Oh, that's true. Terrence got to build it up by getting aggressive. Be active. Builds it up faster. Okay, yep. Go to fire. Oh, yeah. Man, the fireballs are too close for yeah. comfort. I don't find the easy damage. Uh, no punish on that command grab as well, too. No OD legs at the very least. That yeah, it could have been uh, something. Yeah. yeah, that's minus, and you got to guess. And of course, if you're going to guess against the grapple, you're going to hold up, and I don't know. Locked out that stand just once again. Yeah, yeah. All the medium comes through from Idom at enough bar to find the finish and a command grab. That's four medals. That's lots of damage. Up a game of the round so far as Idom. Let's see what's going four, down though. Four medals going into the second round is so scary. That's a difficult because even if you win this round, something you, you about You still gotta her. think about that. Yeah. <laughs> like, dang, bro. Again, oh. the fireball read. Drive rush, level two. Let's attack that drive gauge. I get the dash up that heavy kick, but the ODP saves the day the Tencho kick. Yep, yep. Got the check from Idom though. Oh no. Impact. It's not enough though, but we're gonna we're gonna take a lot of life with this. I'll go for the hit grab or maybe a super. Oh no! Yo. The drop against the command grab! Nah, you know it, nah. it's not a setup, but we're gonna say it's a setup. Wow, what a great setup, Idom. That it's, was super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It just worked out. You know, I, I like to have the awareness to be like, you know what? Okay, I dropped that. Let's put the command grab. Just in case it does work out, though, if I land this option right after. Yeah, I mean, Terrence, the only thing he could have done was like either wake up super or wake up OZ Tensho kick. Right, yeah. It's good. That was good enough to cover the option. Yeah, you know? nice. Fear stress. Hit confirm right there. Good catch on that. That was an amazing hit confirm. Is that enough? Yes. Wow. Too many access points of damage. Terrence is handing it to Idom, and it's also giving him these medals very early. Oh my Double god. Double drive impact. Idom, are you good? He's playing rank match right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. You know, CFN uh, talking to the stream fears. right now. Gotta act quick. Terrence showing a lot of respect right here. And now he's, you can see that he's want to play more of an offensive game, doesn't want to throw a lot of fireballs. As he should, her buds are fantastic, so like, why not? Yes. You know, you see him stuff like that, heavy kick, but that can't deter you. Okay, throw the fireball again. Yeah, you have to be aggressive. No, no, impact, no. it does win. No drive impact back from Terrence. That uh -oh. could have been it. And now he's still alive. And you're in burnout. That means medium mediums for days. Don't leave a gap. Nice. Don't leave a gap, Idom. That was good. That was like right away. I love that. I love that was the first response. Not the yeah. block. First response was super. Kiko show. Exactly. Terrence needs to stay alive. He has level two. Level two is so good. We talked about that. The bar build up. The corner carry. Saved himself for days. The empty lows. No, oh, misses the anti-air. Well, there we go. I mean, you know what? Why not? Let's wake up with it. Yeah, the bust oh, out. Misses it. He walked back just a little bit to let it win. Yeah, he wanted to be that plus eight right there. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, plus eight? Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're spending it. Not enough, but you have to block the next hit. 
Oh, G it might be GG's. It might be. It might be GG's. One more command grab. Oh, it, might be. it is GG's. And we trolling. Why not? We taking ballet classes out here. Black Swan Lamb on the lawn. Idom moves on over Terrence. The Manon kind of looking a little strong. It's I think really good. kind of good. It's good. I mean, like, <laughs> the one thing that we point out many a times is that Idom is so good at walking people down. I feel like he understands to, like, how to make people scared. Yeah, he feels the fear. Worry. He feels the fear in people's hearts, right? He's like, you're scared of me. I'm going to walk it down, play this That's nude. a sick dude right there. Right? It's crazy, you right? You're a sick dude playing like that, but you got to, I guess. You, know? you have to, right? And I think that's the the beautiful part about just, like, these underused characters. But no, mm. lower in the tier list. But that doesn't mean she can't give you that work. Yeah. Right? And I, that's an, it's amazing top four, right? We have what? We have JB versus Sammy in winner's finals. And then loser semis is the classic of Punk versus Idol. But you know, it's, it's our top four. Before we get there, we're going to go on a commercial break. So stay tuned for more DreamHack Street Fighter 6 and DreamHack Atlanta. This is me, Justin Wong, and Sink Cola. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. What is up, everybody? DreamHack Atlanta. We are back with some top four winners finals of Street Fighter 6. My name is Justin Wong. We have our man Sink Cola over here. Right? It's been an amazing top eight so far, right? It's been amazing. Fun. And I think the best part is uh, we have a Rashid in winners finals. You wouldn't think that, you know, it's kind of funny to say Rashid, yeah, right, in winners finals, and then Sammy. And you know, I gotta give a big shout out to my man Ultra David. He texted me and said, just to let you know, Sammy is actually one of the best Smash Melee players in the world from back oh, in the day. Oh, Melee. Drug, okay. He used to go as Drugged Fox. Okay, that's a different name. Yeah, so, so, uh, so shout out to Ultra Day for that information. Thank you for that. Thank you, and it's, it's kind of crazy. I love seeing the crossovers happening. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We have, you know, this, like, legend in the Smash scene coming in. Street Fighter 6, and he's in winner's finals at DreamHack Atlanta for Street Fighter 6 for some big money. And it's against, you know, a seasoned Street Fighter player, JB. Right. So, you know, I'm actually going to be... We, I'm actually curious on what's going to happen because, you know, Rashid is a knowledge ca knowledge check character. Yeah. Does Sammy have the knowledge? Does he have Does it? Does he have the book? Does you he right? have the guide? Bro? Does he have the guide? Has the he Tom been Brady reading book? online? Yeah, does he have that? Is he in the Rashid Discord? Man. Remember those big, like, guide books? Like, back in the day, like, the, the mega guides that they had, like, all the it's fighting like the, uh, like Fighter's pre Edge. Pre Prima Games. Yeah, Prima Games. Tips and Tricks. Yep, Tips and Tricks. Fighter's Edge. Game Pro stuff. Yeah, does he got one of those on him? He's going to need it because this character, as you said, knowledge check. But also, beyond that, JP's footsies are immaculate. I've got to imagine that he has played, you know, on a billion times on his canvas. So yeah. He's going a different look. But, hey, coming from a different scene, implementing a different style of cami out here. We saw with that old spin knuckle. The cut through the reversal is going to wake up from on the side of Terrence. I really like that he is showing something different with his character. Yeah. Yeah, using more hooligan throws. You don't really yeah. see that. Like a lot of people will say sure. the hooligan stuff is not good, not real. Um, also, another thing is that like against Rashid, he can't really throw tornadoes like regular fireballs because yeah. spin knuckle will go through it. And because Rashid's such a character that puts you in the corner, Cammy does have reversal DP, which side switches automatically. That's true, so that is an option. If it happens, the walk back stand fears, oh. Arabian Cyclone is attacking the drive game. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Here we go. This is all knowledge check right here. You see, he's just doing he's just doing this move right here. Mm -hmm. He's like, you gotta show me a little guilty. Here we go. He's out of there. We out. Coming in. Coming in hot. Look at this. This is aggression. You see how JB from like Winner's Bracket against uh, Punk, he was playing more slow. Yeah. Right? Because he knows he's going to react to everything. But against Sam, he's just trying to maul him before he gets started. I think that's great. Maul him before he can understand how the matchup goes close. Like, that's very good here from Sunny JB. Honestly, this matchup, I feel like you kind of have to maul this character. You don't have the best normals to fight her. Yeah. But you do have things to combat her back. She does have a fat grip on that. Said heavy kick in some ranges is really good. But heavy kick. Neutral jump is falling out. There we go. Level Bizarre. two. My win condition. Uh -huh. The Look fake out is doing it. Oh, the walk. Try to go for the grab. Doesn't get it, but we still plus frame. Doesn't draw reversal. Takes the grab. Oh, misses the overhead, though. Oh, oh no. no. Not the gotcha coon. Not the gotcha coon. That was a weird angle. That was, that weird was, yeah, that was a weird fans, angle, yeah, though, right? They the Capcom. They're not, they're not gonna look at that. Bro, he just runs at you. He just runs at you and just puts you in the corner. Imagine that, like in real life, you're like, you're just on the floor and he just somebody just running you, pushing your body through that. The right? YouTuber, bro, running at you. 
Jade B. Oh, all over Sammy. look at that. Gets a counter conversion and finds a finish. Put him in burnout too as well. He's right before. That was great. Like, JB was so ready for that trade to hit and just con continue to combo from there. He's yeah. like, he knew. He knew at that point. JB was a, I mean, is a big guy, right? Yeah, right? yeah. Like, his character, he, actually, it was Wilkin that told me that when he gets a drop, Wilkin spent some time out with JB and then grind out this character and found Nice. Oh, oh unfortunate. unfortunate. Again. again. Oh, you couldn't do anything. The Arabian Cyclone. Yeah. See, again, JP is like, you don't know how to deal with this. I'm, I'm going like, to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it as you should. Yeah. I feel like in that range, you have to do ODDP. You can't press yeah. a button, right? So you have to use something as an invincible reversal to get through that. Nice side, side switch. switch. And you're burnt out. Are you going to wake up super? <gasps> Drops the combo. That was big. There's a lot more Sammy. Yeah, he could have won that one. A little loss right now. Smash up. Wow, Stan Fierce. Spikes, misses the spikes. Good punish counter combo. Doesn't spend the drive rush, right? Of course, that's really good. Keep the meter fresh because Cammy needs all the meter she can get. Yeah, we talked about that. She needs as much as possible to get these extensions and things like that. Here's level two of the train. <laughs> wow, I mean, he still got the tornado, though. He, he did, he did, but I didn't. There he's a throw it out. Fake. Uh huh. Wow. No, still got the, hit. the dive kick's not that good. Like you said, that's a big hitbox. Oh, right, perfect perfect parry. parry. Side switch again. Go for a throw. Oh. Yep. Standard cami things. Wow. That was so ready. Wow. Didn't you just do the super? Yeah, wasn't that. Huh? It, you just did it. He got it again. Got that $400 uh, <laughs> engine on. <laughs> No, and he got and he still got that win in the background. Doesn't want to use it. Doesn't want to take the risk, right? Yeah. Could have been a reaction. Wow. Sammy. And oh, that was a reaction. Yes, yeah. the reactions. JB! 2 0. You gotta think about it sometimes. Sometimes going back to character select, like, think about all the Rashid things that has been happening. Because yeah. these are Rashid things that are happening, right? Tear them down. Look at See that. See what you're, you're dying to. What sauce is too spicy for you? Nice, there we sky go. high. Right range to let that rip. Now Pump. it gets a grip. That. Punish counter for extra damage. Yeah, that's a lot. Stand jab, stand forward medium punch. The stand jab, the slap, slap, slaps all day. Are we going to have, yeah, we, we have level one on deck. She kicked. Perfect KO. JB is on set point dominantly right now. Yeah, it, it's it's really tough just because like Sammy is playing like so well as well too. But it's just like he might he just might not have enough experience against Rashid, right? Yeah. He, he knows how to fight, like use do cami things, do the cami offense, but when it comes to just it's your turn to defend, can you stop against my offense, my attacks? Right. It you know, you see JB's being more successful with that. Okay, I like Sammy getting a little bit more area. Talk about how to oh, this is enough. Issues. Okay, Level one. Arrows. No, it doesn't mean need it. All right. Okay, that's enough damage. Hey, remember, we don't do no damage. That's what I heard. Can we don't do no damage? Yeah, she had many routes in that situation. Okay, let's go see what happened, right? This is kind of like Sammy's first round that he got. A little more active, it feels like. More the, arrow oh, yeah. Too. But even then, see right there, that's still something that you can interrupt, right? Like mm -hmm. the fake. Stealing the turns right there. Maybe even using ODDP, right? Just buffering into it. That might help a lot. It could. That's just something different. Attack though does not connect, but Sammy not find too much. Back to neutral, back to mid-screen. Yeah, back to, yeah, there we go. Driver was the crouching light kick. That's everything where Rashid loves to do because it just hits, it clips. Mm -hmm. Nice so anti-air. The back medium punch. You don't really see the back medium it. punch, right? It's like it's very, yeah, you, normally you see Cammy just do cannon spike for the extra big big damage afterwards. You can do it to like get a throw up in the corner, like the driver the back medium punch and a throw. Yeah. That's right, throw. Okay, yeah, he, he doesn't want to spend level two yet. Wants to get the knockdown first, right? To keep yeah. it safe. That nine frame startup is nasty. Yeah. Get baited. Finds the crouching medium kick. Oh, we, we spent the all that. Three? No, not just yet. Yeah. Knockdown now. Gisara's out the power. He put himself in burnout. Calculated because he knows he can get the kill. He puts on the pressure. He the right sort away. Oh, it's got a counter hit. Yeah. OD. You're plus. Why not? This is where you do a spin knuckle trap. Yeah, go in. Oh. The air so ready. JB oh gets my. his grip. Nah. That is why, why she gotta? Why he gotta drag her on the ground like that? At least it's Bro. sand, not not cement. But that gotta hurt. That grab. That that's a that that leaves a burn right there. Oh, that's right? definitely a burn clean, right there. Clean three zero JB. Moving on to grand finals of Street Fighter Six at DreamHack Atlanta 2023. Sammy still has a shot, right? Yeah. He, he's he's automatically in loser finals. Guaranteed top three. That's a lot of money. Right? Guaranteed yeah. top three, right? And, man, the next match, uh, no matter what, he's going to fight someone really, really strong. 
right, Sammy? Because oh, yeah. the next match is a classic. It's uh, it's definitely what the Capcom Cup uh, rematch. Yes, yeah, right. Awesome from Street, yeah, from, yeah. From, from, from Street Fighter Five. They also probably played in so many online tournaments like TNS, oh, ICFC, Can right. Opener, and etc. Right, Casa Bunch, um, Idom versus Punk. Right, this is a classic match, very classic match. Um, so Manone versus who do you think Punk's gonna pick? That's the real question. I I would have to imagine it's Cami. I'd <laughs> like to see the Cami because right. I feel like that's gonna be the most effective character. Most that's his best character like, like, as well too. Yeah. I think that Idom right now, he's heated up. He has been able to play Manon very effectively throughout this entire bracket, even though he's on the loser side. You know, he, he knew his mistakes. We talked to him afterwards. Yeah, we he did. was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah all right. I should have probably anti-heard with the crescent kick against the butt slam. Yep. And he's focused. He said, A, he loves the game. And B, <laughs> he is here to win. Yeah, I mean, Idom is a professional, right? These yeah. are both professional Street Fighter Six players right here. And, you know, they... They really want to become the best. They try the hardest in every game they play. Like, you know, like Puck also plays multi games such as Idom. He just won Guilty Gear Strive That's at NEC true. 2023. Yeah. So these are some try hard tournament players when Sweat. it comes to fighting games. Sweaty. Sweat. Right? So obviously, like we talked about, like, you know, even though Idom does have like this, like a, like a baby JP, yeah. we're not going to see that. We're going to see straight no to Manon. Business. Yeah. Straight to business. Right? Straight to battle. Right? Straight to battle. Oh, yeah. Cammy, Cammy, we, yes. we highlighting. I wanted to see. I want to see the true character. Oh, oh wait, wait what? Dawson? No, 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 no. He just he moved it. He moved it. It was an accident. <laughs> move that back up to Cammy. Were you? Yeah. No, 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 no. Dawson? No, no. Well, he's not gonna pick Dawson because one, he told me he doesn't even have master rank Dawson. So That's clearly, crazy. Dawson will not be picked. He's still with Diamond. Still Diamond. Uh, still Jury. Jury. Really, punk. Okay. Well, I mean, right. I mean, this is this is. Um, this is not bad, right? Because I know when you when you watch his streams, his tournament runs, he has also a good amount of losses due to Jerry. That's true. Right, Naj Jack and right, Najee. Naj Naj yeah. Right, so dry rush medium kick. He hates dry rush standing medium Wasn't kick. Wasn't that from the Jerry. clip that was on Twitter? That's yeah. the one. He's like, he said, "What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? <laughs> you pressed the button. That's what. Yeah, you should have blocked. It's your fault." See if Punk can use that button to pull it back. Yeah, I mean, this is also like three out of five as well, too. So if Punk, like, Jury doesn't do well, he could go to character slag and pick something else. Yeah, could happen. I don't have had a lot of process. Uh, you know, Jack is here. I mean, other Jury players that are really good have given him that, too, as well. Punk might have a different look. But Punk is his own sort of beast. However, try brush and man grab. Sack, yeah, two medals. Coming at you. Oh, look back. I love that. Wasn't scared. Again. Only stay as compact as possible. You see? Item. Oh my god. That was a good attempt for the OD Crescent Kicks. Normally it, it would work in that situation if he did it a little bit earlier. You're right. Okay, yeah. It's a great move. No cross cut. I mean, that one's a hard cross cut right there. It's because it was like such like the last ending of a cross cut. This should be enough. Right there, first blood, first round from Idom. Going with three medals as well, too. That's a big reward. Again, we talked about this. As these rounds go down, you do not want her to get the medals. It's going to be harder for you as things continue. Okay, okay. Yeah, stocks up, drive yeah. throw up we're, in the corner. We're buffering that stock. This is a throw loop city right here. Cross Just cut. Ready with it. But look how much damage, though. Damn, That's a lot of damage. Blast. There it is off the court, medium punch to get it done. Yeah, Punk. That was good. That was a good combo. Okay, Punk, you got combo. That's a good combo. Yeah. And the and I think the the biggest win on that one was that Manon got no medals that round. True. Right. True. Big big win. What if Punk was like he's level two? Because it'd be a big win. He, for him he don't got level two. He don't. Okay, no I, I don't think let he me, got level let me two. Let out the table. That's yeah. not something you'll be utilizing. I, I would be so surprised. I mean, level two would be so good because it's like you get so much mileage, so much more opportunity, so the many more stuff, openings. Yeah. But I think he's just so comfortable with like, oh, I could whiff punish you, and I go into my level three for 50%, right? Right. Oh, like the super item. It does a lot of damage. Like, you don't really see level two so often. Oh, yeah, that's not safe. Oh. But I don't, I don't think this is enough. That's a lot of hits. So Ida might have a chance here if he, if he lives. Yeah, Punk and Burnout lose the hate. Tell him yeah. the super, get it back. Give all this range, finds the overhead, you're dead. Forward, medium Dude. kick, and overhead. Yeah, I, I feel like that was like a do or die like block. If he, didn't, if he did block it, 
It's not like I. It's not like Punk can just do ODDP afterwards. Right. Because yeah. he does. He's burnt out. Yeah. So Idam would definitely been in a situation where he could have took that round with that with that one block. And that stand medium, 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 medium. Yeah, nice whiff punish. Beautiful interruption against the drive rush. We talked about her buttons and so good with dashes and drive rush as you see once again. Sharp angle, couldn't anti-air. Yeah, yeah. Punk escapes, gets some damage too as well. He's like, ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, we got we got two medals, one stock. There we go, reaction. Fly thought he's gonna press standing heavy because of standing medium kick. Yeah, it's hard to drive impact a lot of her buttons. Like they're tailor made to drive impact right back. Yeah, it's, it, cause you're not gonna react. It's more of like a, a read, a yeah. guess. Right on. Okay, he's a watch me. Oh, oh I'm watching that, that was great. Even though Idom won the game that weren't that round right there, yeah. he didn't get the third medal. Usually he likes to go for like crouch medium punch drive rush ends with crouch medium punch into the hit grab. So he can have that extra sauce. Yeah, but I think because the whip punish was so far, he couldn't get he couldn't get what he wanted. Still gets the round though. And he's doing good right here, right? Good position. Alright, takes the level one. Forced Punk to do a wake up, right? A wake up attempt right there. And used the super to not kill uh, his own drive gauge. Yeah. All those resources, oh, so I get that jump here, so that hard knockdown. Yeah, we're spending it. Super. We're spending it. We're close. <laughs> Hit him with the... Hey, yo! Mm, no, this is looking bad. Yeah. Look off the corner. Nice! Denying the with the super, smart stuff again. Using the super to not put himself in burnout, using an OD. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he didn't go for the standing heavy punch, heavy punch to, to just take out the remaining of the drive game. Yeah. Set. But that was great right there, and that's enough. That move does so much damage. Like, the second hit, it just does a chunk. I don't know where they're scaling on that one, but it just does a lot. I mean, no, no, we keep going. No, we gotta keep that. Yep, again, doesn't work out. Forward hit, yep, heavy punch, DP, get a store, optimal. Cross cut, you try to jump out, didn't work out. Beautiful interruption though. Again, he drive rushes, backs up, finds his hands, fears, put the face to put him in his place. The drop, but doesn't get hit with the drive impact. Yeah, that's, Luckily, that's important, right? You dropped the combo, you didn't commit too hard, and you didn't get hit by drive impact. You'll take that. But you are in the corner. Never mind. But now you're in the mix. Maybe even worse. Yeah. Luckily, avoids to throw the tech. Throws not connect. Bunk. Backing off. Eats a drive impact. The fireball output. Two medals. So many. That's okay, though. I think Punk's okay because he builds back all his drive gauges well back as well, too, right? That's true. He didn't, so he didn't, like, take too much. But now he's burned out again. Oh, no. No more. Entire. Yeah. I, I don't this think. Time. Wait. Bait. Decimate. Back heavy punch to start the party off. Wow, that was a sick combo. I like that one. That That's was optimal. Really good. You get the at the very end the grip to Gilda. Yeah, right yeah. That was good. I Dom. Up a game in the round right now. Nice, yep. Again with that move right there. Medium, medium, drive rush. Go for the grab. Look at that. That's a good chunk of damage right there. That is in the corner set situation. Where Manon does not want to be. Passing to super. Okay. Rebuttal. Are we spending level punch three? No, next up. touch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we talked about perfect parries. Punk's not a big fan of perfect parries as well, too, man. Imagine, yeah, and he's burnt out. Perfect parry caused all this? No, no never mind. Level three. Why'd you test me? me? Punk's like, why'd you test, why'd you test me? me? You know my reactions are good. And I and I think like even though he did spend level three, like I don't went for a a grappler decision right there. Yeah. If I get this drive impact, I win. If, if Punk wakes up level three against my drive impact, well, we'll go to a third round and I still have my resources. That is we'll true. fight another day. Less resources, less problems. Yeah, Punish doesn't get the cancel on the Crescent Kick on that stand light. Mm. Punk is in the corner now. Has to be careful that drive game. Oh, good committed. jump in. Yeah, that was a really good jump in. Good jump here, we talked about that. Sharp angle, angle you get the hard knockdowns. Yeah. Dash up, medium punch star, ends it with a DP. Ooh. Kick, hit, throw right there. Yeah, I think I don't try to jump out again as well. Stan Pierce, no cancel this time. Good with punish on Idom's part. Cross cut didn't work out. Oh. Idom has critical art available, but doesn't matter. Level one should seal deal. Punk going up 2 1. On the jury. What the jury, man? I was thinking it was going to be Cammy. Especially yeah. considering the history. It's, it's the way just. He's playing is so. This is loser brackets, Punk. Yeah, this, this, this is a different beast, bro. It's counter picking Punk. It sucks when you send someone down the loose like this, someone like Punk, you're just making it worse for everybody else in this <laughs> Everybody pack. else. They're all just staring at you like, bro, you did this. 
Yeah, like you could have you could have played serious and winners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Let this happen. You could have played Cammy. Let me make it through a little bit more. Damn. Yeah, it's and then you also see just like how strong Punk is because he has so much more, so much character knowledge, right? Yeah. And he knows what characters that people lose to, right? So he's gonna take advantage of that. Oh no! Spins all the bar. Level one to get it done. Yes, sir. Punk on set point against Item very dominantly with the character I did not expect to see from him at this at this, this tournament. Day. Yeah, I mean he, he did say Luke. Here. He did say Luke all day. Yeah, well, you know, when Luke don't win, you're like, okay. Let me pick one of my other 20 nice. other characters. Nice. That was amazing check. Oh, wow, the back heavy punch hit like that. That, that was a great angle. Great conversion from Idom, too. Okay, yep. Heavy kick. Crash that's the drive gauge a little bit. Unblock. The overhead. Sammy and Punk. Oh, that's unfortunate. Take the hit in the air. Oh, it doesn't get the cancel. Dash up a challenge. Wow. Walk up throw the confidence. Yeah, that was an offensive walk up throw. I want to see more of that. More of these fireballs and make him really have to think about the option. Oh, oh again. Too far. That's the second time, too. Second time, yeah. DP. He could have won that round, spent all the bar, too, but misses it. But still gets it. And you know what? That's okay. Because because you know why? Because that if he hit that last combo, he would have had to spend all the bar, right? But because of that, he didn't need to. He has three bars in deck. And it got an extra medal on top of it. It's more damage you're coming your way. You know how things go down. Punk has to be careful. They both are loaded with meter. Okay, yeah. Try to hit some fireball. Ball. Yeah, forward heavy punch. Make the fireball safe. You see Punk's playing a little bit more slower this time around, right? Yeah. He doesn't want to tie it up. You don't want to make it a 2-2 two -two with Idon. You want to finish it. Uh, Get it over with. Press yeah. the kick. Try to hold up. Carry. Again, the fear. Those metals juiced up, even though it's three. is still quite a bit. Yep, yep. Nice check again. Oh, misses the anti with the jump fierce. Drop him down to the ground. Damn fierce. Good jump back. Oh, right. We are playing some neutral defense right here. Oh! Eventually a hit, misses the light pinwheel, gets the cross cut though. Gets revenge. Oh! He backs up, finds a shimmy, no commitment though, no drive rush right after. Yeah, that was big, and we got a command grab. Four medals here for Idom. Oh, we dash it. This is, this is literally anybody's touch. Any touch right here. Oh! Oh, he just sends it out! Is that a, gets a super! I think that's enough, because it's, yeah, I don't think they're scaling there. That yeah! Feels bad. Moves on over Idom. Three to one with the jury. You want me to tell you something so crazy? Yes, I do. I want to hear it. He didn't have another stock after that after that move. He, he, he only had one stock. He would have died, bro. He, he believed in his heart. He believed in his heart that it's going to hit, and it hit. Believe in his foot. <laughs> right, <laughs> Punk moves on. Idom eliminated at fourth place. Amazing showing with Manone. Yeah. Um, love to see it just because he's really showing how amazing this character is, right? And so other players like Joey FGC, right? Great, great stuff, right? But Punk is going to be able to move on to loser finals to fight against Sammy's Cammy. And this is a tough order because, I mean, we all know that Punk's main, or one of his mains, yes. is Miss Cammy White. 100%. So we're going to see what's he going to do, what character Punk's going to play. Is he going to stick with the jury? Is it is loser bracket the jury main? Or is it are we going back to Luke? Or are we going to pick a different character that he, he's comfortable fighting Cammy with, right? Yeah. Because when you think about like who fights Cammy, I feel like a lot of characters can fight Cammy because you know what it is? If you have good Street Fighter skills, you know how to fight Cammy because the way Cammy is in Street Fighter 6, it's very similar to Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter mm -hmm. 5. So you're comfortable fighting against her. Like everything about her is very similar to that regard, right? right Frame right. trap, strike her throw, game plan is there. dive kick. Yeah, it's been the same. Yeah. It's been the same sin pain. since 4. Um, so I feel like it's a tough order for Sammy because he knows that he probably watched Punk playing Cammy, right? Oh, yeah, took yeah, some yeah. notes. Took a lot of notes. Probably was like, let me just write that down. Yeah, so, we you know. This, let me do that. But, I mean. This guy, Sam, he's also, you know, named Drug Fox, one of the best melee players, you know, in the Smash scene in general. So, you know, I feel like he has the, the power to adapt in these situations as well, too, because he's done it before. That's true. You know, I, I do feel like coming from another game, especially one that is like melee, that is very difficult to play yeah. at yeah. high level, especially so movement-based. 
is going to give him some help. But again, the issue is Punk, even if there's a character that is directly picking for it, like to fight Cammy, it's about the fact that he knows him. He's molded him. He's one of the best Cammies in the business. In fact, I would say Punk is probably the best Cammy yeah. in the business. Yeah. He, maybe he's not the most technical compared to like Kazunoko and stuff like that, but his foot's a game, how he controls other players and things like that. Another his spacing is great. JP? There's no way. JP? Nah, I don't think so. The jury. Yeah, loser bracket jury, right? Well, Luke, oh, yeah. Luke, I Luke. Think, I think Luke does really good because it's like, it's more of like a test. Like, can you spin knuckle through my my sandblast? Let me see it. Do you have, my, do you have a read on my fireballs? Yeah, let me see the it. Spacing on the hit scan fireballs. Are you ready to deal with these fantastic normals? Either way, this is Losers Finals, Sammy versus Punk. Let's get it. Yeah, it's actually a really good pick for Luke because it's like, okay, you're playing this mid-range. Now you're like, okay, we're going to press these buttons mm -hmm. from this mid-range game. What's going to happen here? Who's going to win more? Who's going to get more damage? Of course, Luke's going to have more damage off the crouch medium punch, especially if he whips, like, let's say, stand medium kick, crouch medium kick, and everything. Right. And we just saw Punk just dragon punch the first dive kick. He's so ready, and that's going to be a pivotal thing. Anti in this character is you have to be able to do so. You have to go to these two pieces. Oh. Find the stand fierce, fit the face, put him in his place, corner space. You're dead, actually. No need to take him there. Oh, I lied. It don't matter, though. It's one touch. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It really, I feel like it's so hard for Cameron to make this comeback because look at this. Just pressing these folks. <laughs> <laughs> He, jab, 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 he knows jab. the character. Yeah, he, he understands. He knows like if you did if you did that, if you did the spin knuckle, you're gonna lose regardless. My right. jab. So like you had the whip punish there. Wow. He said, like, where in. are you going? He's back in again. BBP. Yeah, like in the hurt box, he's massive on this character and punk knows his face with the dive kicks. He knows what the enemy players nice. want. Beautiful only BP gets the side switch, but drive first throw. Yeah. Inside of punk. Yeah, even though that was an expert like thing that Sammy did, he spent so much drive gate there. He spent too far, you don't get that much damage, right? So I think that's the hard part. Throw one more hit, we'll seal the deal. Just a calm walk up throw, dog walking him. Luke. Dang. Yeah, Luke. Luke. Yeah, we're gonna see a C. There we go. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Crouchy medium punch. These two characters, they kind of play similar in terms of that mid-range, but Luke just has way more damage in terms of that department. Just explosive and how like, Punk utilizes it to full effect. With the reset, too? With the reset, the American reset. Yeah. Oh, oh, my it, it, it. God. <laughs> Is that what take back my turn? I'm going to leave with something. Punk. He's Punk. So <laughs> nah, Punk is playing rank match right now. Uh, he's chilling. He's listening to the sound sound stuff. Yeah, oh, and, and no. with the whiff punish, with stand heavy punch. It's the dive kick. Okay. Still able to leave that corner. Let's go, Sammy. Right. Oh, drops the cannon spike, though, but still gets the throw. Hey, Punk don't have that much bar, and he's aiming for that. Puts him in burnout. Yeah. A nice jump back, medium punch. Yep, there we go. Stan Fierce. Good shimmy. Oh, a little wrong too choice. far. Yeah, the back medium punch is the wrong choice. In the corner, the jump heavy kick. The follow-up, though, the air there is right there. Bro, they are he trading. They, they Both are, of them miss. They are trading. This, this <laughs> they are trading some blows right now. Yeah. They're also hitting the air right there, too, as well. <laughs> yeah, they, they were pressing wet. some buttons. <laughs> Another is, drop yeah. from Sammy. Yeah. These are critical. Yeah, Pumped Mr. Dive Kick. Damage. That's Oki. That's corner carry. Except with the right option. Find the side switch. Yeah, good job on the side switch right there. Sammy, let's go. Let's see if we can get that one. Oh, the crouching medium punch. It's really hard because you, you really have to use a smaller poke against that crouch medium punch. From there, it's like you have to wait. You maybe do standing light kick or crouch medium punch, but you're not supposed you shouldn't press anything heavy like like a standing medium kick or standing heavy kick. They're just, it's just too much right too there, hard. right? It's too much, it's too risky mm -hmm. against this like crouch medium punch. It's all purpose button, right? Special cancelable, it's plus on block. It walks you, your dog. Yeah, it walks your dog, you know, it just does everything for you. It really does. Sign, sign does your taxes. It does your taxes, I'm gonna hire that. Punk, on game point, ODDP with a bust out. Oh, he got hit by that. Suppressor. Okay, nice. Corner carry, good block. You're minus after that because you're so close. Ooh! Jump here, spots it out. The spagger and burnout. Yeah, Impact! Burnt out. Yeah, splat, it's a wrap. Punk will be on set wow. to complete the combo. Oh! He didn't complete the combo. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's Sammy. go. Get aggressive. 
Nice, Whoa. there we go. Let's use the dive kick. There, oh, oh beast, beast mode, mode, baby. The eraser. Wiggy up with that super to seal the deal. Now Punk is on set point. Okay. No, the shimmy didn't work out. Okay, old ODTP. Send that sucker out. I like seeing that reverse. We haven't seen Sammy have any rebuttals. Missed the cross though. Punch this, yeah. Oh, there we go. Frame kill, but doesn't commit though, because you could do you can combo with the crouching every punch on hit. That's her best meaty button up in the corner. Yeah. It's also plus one on block as well, so it's a really good button. Nice, get out, get off of me. I'm out the corner. Oh He's my a god! Against the button. He's using that. Not only gets the throws, but certain distances to catch these buttons. Plus, guess for game. One more hit will be it. Nice. Button, it's with Sammy. Same Never mind. Super. Yes. Yeah, it, but it, it's like Punk's like, all right, cool. He's cool because it's like one. Sammy did get the round, so shout out to that. But he had to spend all his resources on that one, right? He, like, if he wanted to, you could have done Crouch Me and Punch Drive Rush, but at that point, it was just so hard, right? He's getting, yeah. he's literally getting suppressed right now. He's getting mauled, getting bullied. And now, there we go. Good with Punish right there. CLP, tech code does not connect. Punk with the nice. Defense. Speaking of defense, perfect pairing for Shot of Cammy. Back throw. Cammy has a good, good amount of drive gauge health, too, so that's really good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to get a third one? No. Oh, he wanted to go for taking to Memphis. He's about to. All that bar at the bottom. Just needs one opening to finish the job. He puts himself in burnout, but it doesn't matter. He just needs one good crouching medium punch. He's buffering. Punk is buffering, bro. Oh, yeah. He's buffering. Don't give it to him. Don't give, it to him. Don't give him the satisfaction. Don't. Please, Sammy. The dash a throw. The I, super. I told you, don't give him the satisfaction. Don't do it. The super to seal the deal against the dive kick. He is ready, he is steady. He's quick with it and quick with it. Punk moves on to grand finals to fight JB. Another classic. The rematch. The rematch. You are right. This is the run back. We have that clap back. We'll have to see as Punk might be picking a different character. He might be, but big shout out <laughs> to Sammy for coming through. You know, showing off like, oh, you know, like I came from the Smash scene. I want to play some Street Fighter. And here, you know, he's, he's doing it. Welcome. And there's a lot of Smash players playing Street Fighter 6. You got Fatality Falcon. Yo, shout out to my boy. I just right? met him today. Yeah, yeah. Very so, good. Like yeah, top so, 32 in TNS all the time. Yeah, he's, he's playing Street Fighter 6. So big shout out to that. Um, and I want to see more people. I love seeing more people, more crossovers and everything. So, and he got top three at a Street Fighter 6 major. So yeah. th that's no slouch, man. Definitely no slouch. It's no bro. slouch. Sl no slouch. He took out some killers, right? Took out Terrence, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, he's just here in top three. That was amazing. But yeah. here we are. Grand finals. This is a run back. JB put Punk and Losers 3-0 in winner semis. Yes. Right? The, against that was his, a Luke. Yeah, it was against his Luke. It was his Luke. Are we going to see Cammy? Are we going to see Jury? Or are we going to get the run back with Luke? Who no, knows? I don't want that. I don't want the Luke. <laughs> you don't want the Luke. Don't, don't do the Luke. Give me anything but the Luke, bro. Right, you don't want the Luke at all. No. All right, all right. Can, I, can we just get the Cammy? Give me the... No? Uh oh No, I think are they're they just talking? talking to each other. They're talking to each other? Is he asking him what he wants to play? We'll have to see. We'll have to see what he chooses. Uh, but listen, you were talking about how these players are coming through to play Street Fighter Six. There is no better time to grind this game. Yeah. Right now, when everybody is playing the game from all sectors, from all scenes, from even outside the FGC, and there's rare a better place to play than DreamHack. Honestly, shouts to DreamHack again for giving us a great arena to not only have tournaments in, but also have casuals. Yeah. The space has been expansive. You know, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real to y'all at home. It don't stink out here, which is <laughs> super great. I've Duly approach, appreciate that. But more importantly, I just like the fact that DreamHack has been putting up for the FTC continuously throughout the entire year for multiple games, as new or old as they may be. And even below us in the other section, they have other tournaments on the side for people to play. So if you're out of Street Fighter 6 here, you can go play another tournament down there. You know, they, they, they have an arcade room. They do. Like, have right? You can play arcade, arcade room. rooms. Uh, they got like artist alleys. You can buy some that. stuff. Um, let's see what else. They got They got other booths as well, too. Um, you get free monster energy downstairs and everything. I've, right? They got the creator hub where people can stream. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah so the, 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 right. the, there's a lot of activities. Uh, T Pain was here. He was just playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yo, so Tyler, Tyler was out here, too, as well. Yeah. There's a lot of things to do even outside the FTC stuff. So if you have it again, make your way to dream hack next year i'm trying to see more of you come through but right now right here is the finale you, you of might, dream hack atlanta you might get your wish he said i'm going for this never mind no <laughs> the kimberly 
Bro, come on. I, he was oh. hovering on Cammy too. Yeah, he was, but I guess it's gonna be Kimberly versus Rasheed. It's gonna be Punk versus JP. Grand Finals of DreamHack Atlanta. Street Fighter Six starts right now. This is such a weird pick, right? It's such a weird pick because, like, I know Kimberly. He's, uh, Punk has been playing Kimberly recently, like yeah. in, in like getting top eight with her. Uh, got her the master and everything. I'm not sure if, if she if he has her on legend rank yet. I think he's close to legend. Close to I her, right? So. And, but the thing is, I would say Kimberly's also a knowledge check character, right? Because she can maul you uh, like what she can. The only thing that Rasheed has that's better is projectile and a wake up. Yes, that's true. I mean, that OEPC, and the level two. Important. Good level two. Oh, that's also an important thing. Yeah, she doesn't really have a good reversal. Reverse side of things in terms of wake ups are very slow. Does get the target combo back throw up in the corner. It's another grip. The tech, though, this time from JB. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, nice whiff punish. Yeah, Stan Meaty kick one of her best buttons, if not the best button. Okay, Stan Rouse, Meaty, you try to jump up. Are we spending all the bar? Try to go for the reset. Oh, doesn't get the super. Burnout, but definitely not out of options. What? Well, now. You know, sometimes, eventually, we get in the heat of the moment. Yeah. We just didn't disconnect the controllers. Disconnect the controllers. Please. Right. I guess that's please. that's uh, that's something. Please. Yeah, please. Make please. sure if, if you are at an FGC tournament, make sure you disconnect the, the Bluetooth controllers or the pads and everything like that. You know, we, we were, we've been online for a while. I'll, I'll give you all some leeway. Yeah, I'll give you some but leeway. But also, disconnect your dang controllers, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so different. Yeah, we're going to get that get that sorted out and everything like that. But at least it happened during the first round. That's true. My right, first yeah. round of everything for Street Fighter 6 and everything. Imagine it was like final hit, final, final round, round, and I mean, it was... <laughs> it could happen. We, we have to ban you from Dream High, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to ban you? You, you just can't come back next year. Which, we which, we're trying you. to tell people. We're trying to welcome people. You're like, oh, let's ban them. Yeah, listen. If you're doing things like that, it's a final game, final round. You gotta go down, bro. All right. I, just, think, I think they're gonna play it out. Yeah, they're All gonna right, play yeah, it out. Yeah. I like that sportsmanship. They are friends. Yeah. And we do appreciate that. Back in the match. Nice. Jab, jab, jab again. Good confirm with the Tatsu right there. Yeah, Punk with Punisher. Wow, Stop again. Impact. You just saw that previously. It's almost like JP's doing it as like a bait. Like, yeah, I right. I want you to do the drive impact because I will recover time to stay fine. But Yassar is out and about. It's time for the blender. Get off of me. Okay, it's but, over his but you got to block again, though. Uh, oh, nice check. Good check with the crouching jab. I'm telling you, Punk knows, like, even though, like, JB has mastered this character, Rasheed, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and it's a lot of knowledge check. Punk knows. He knows his stuff. He knows what Rasheed's going to do. Got to put the paper in the buttons. The throw up in the corner. Oh, how many grabs? Three. Oh. Another one. Are we, are we going still? That's Three plus. Because we overhead this time. Yeah, we spent the bar, right? No, we didn't spend the bar yet. We want the guess for game here. But the, here you go. Overhead, overhead. I like the Backs mix. Off. Oh, gets hit with the jab and the drive run starter. This is the finish. Super sheet kick. Enough to do it. Even out. Punk got a little greedy, though. Yeah, yeah. He, he should hit that level three. <laughs> he should hit that level three. That yeah. his victory. He that would have been it right there. It would have been, right? Okay. They gotcha. Panther gets that walk up throw against the Panther parry. <laughs> Again. That's three for three in terms of driving impact. This is the combo. No shot. Okay. Great setup, JB. Great setup, bro. Yeah, we're going to burn that out. Yeah, burn out right here. JB looking good. Oh, you didn't react. Level three. This should be enough right here. Charge fireball. Able to find his OD. There we go. Still more he could have done. Yeah, he could have done four me and punch with a heavy mixer as well for the ending of the combo, which which it does a lot of damage, man. It actually does. It hacks up. Having a fireball like that as a starter, really good. JB with the first victory. Remember, because the other side, you only need to win one to get it done. Punk needs a reset. Then he needs to win twice to make it nice in terms of set. The side switch gets a throw. Add to that Arabian side claw. Oh, then I think he tried to run slide there, try to stop the tornado before it came out. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Oh, wow. Medium. Wow. I don't that close is that a really, I don't know if that's a hit confirmed, but it, it looked confident. Yeah. He's been constantly whip punishing with that button, so I want to say maybe. Okay, the jump in with the cross up. Yeah, I can't throw the bombs yet, but it's a good corner carry. Wow, Stan Furious, retaliation. Can spend level two? No, we're running. Not just yet. Ooh, oh. that could have been big. He's looking for that Stan Medium punch again. No anti-air. Good check. This is close. Punk with no meter. 
Ooh, oh, the, the hand tire! Again, using these fireballs as baits. Like, I want you to jump. I want you to drive in tag. And I'll play around that. JB is so prepared and so ready. Back throw from the side of Punk. Okay, nice. We, are we, we definitely spend this spray can. No, level three. Let's get that buff. Yeah. Let's never, buff. It's never a wrong time to spend level three, right? Yeah. So get that buff, get that uh, increase in damage and walk speed. And you get a nice little lead. Yeah, let me get that speed stat. But you know what? JB said, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still my turn. You could play the music. You could change stage music. I don't care. Piece up too far for the drive impact to send heavy kick That's into the level three uh, immediately to kill the drive game. Yeah, and it's also one hit too, so it's gonna be really big damage for that level three right there. Uh, look at that. See, that's Brother. like 60. Hello? Oh, here we go. That's Jab Mixer Infinite. He's oh. to burn out the drive yeah. impact. Splat. JP looking for another clean victory. He is on game tournament point. Yeah, it's tough right there because that jab mixer on burnout, like it's minus two, right? And because you're burnout, you add four frames. That's plus two. So it's like stand jab mixer, stand jab mixer. Right. But eventually there is a pushback. But the thing is, you can spend your drive gauge to keep to get back into that power to range to jab mixer up. again yeah. for like four more times. Flowing and flowing. So it's just really good, really good from that. And we get the jury. It's ride or die right yeah, now. Ride or die. Can't and switch unless he gets that reset, bro. Yeah, and I will say for this matchup, JB's probably has fought so many juries, right? Yeah. Right? And also, it's like, the thing about it, like, you can't really stop the fireball from Rashid because, like, you have to jump. She doesn't really have anti projectile tools. That's kind of like her weakness, right? Yeah. Like, she kind of gets zoned out by like, Guile and, every, and those type of characters. She has to take risks. But you know what? Punk's, Punk's making it work. Got reward right now. The drive impact lands and Punk started on the corner the entire damn time. Punk stays fine, saves off set point, or game point, I should say. Okay, okay coming at you. The one thing that JB has been doing so good is he's not falling for punk shimmies. Yeah, he is. He's, he's not. not. He, he's like, I'm okay with just taking the grab and just pressing, crouching jab right here. So I think the the, the read that punk, like he doesn't have a good read on JB's like tendencies right now. Oh, you're doing that jump in though. That jump fierce. Blessing the dome. It's the back row. In front of JB. How much far he has yeah. to drive impact. He said, I'm going to burn out. I'm going to do it on my own terms. But however, punk is ready to drive impact right this, back. This could be it. Super no, ready. it's not it. It's not it. Yeah, it's close. It's close. Problem is, he's burnt out still, though. Exactly. Could do a lot of things. A normal fireball. Stock up. Just right Here we face. go. Nice. Try, try to steal. Doesn't matter. Look at that. It's two stores all day. The jury. Was this the pick? Yeah. Is this the pick? I mean, it's already he's doing better because he finally got a game on the board, right? Because mm -hmm. because before this game, he, it was the JB kind of like five games to zero. Yeah. So now it's like he finally got a game, so he's doing better at the set automatically, and he's landing more drive impacts like the way he wants to, more confident in the offense, getting more right. grabs, right. right, more speed. You know, lot, something changed, right? And I think maybe it's because one jury is a better character than Kimberly, right, right, on the tier list. You're right. Right, and she also has to wake up, so then JB has to worry about that. Yeah, see, again, you don't know about that. You probably have to do ODDP there because of the multi-hits. Yeah, yeah. To get out of there, you have to use that little bomb. Again, try to go for a perfect carry. Nice sky high right there. Beautiful. Done. Space it out with a heavy punch mixer. Oh. Extra throw. Is it a punish here? Kind of close. Oh, no. no. It's too far. And honestly, that for sort of. Oh. Know, it seems like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. That's really good. That. Oh. Try to for shimmy. Well, look now, JB can get the victory from some set point. He, he don't need to. He don't need to go in. He has lots of time to, to just kind of like take advantage. Like it's okay. You don't really need to go in. You see Punk buffering right there, and that's not gonna work because level ones are not projectile invincible. Punk figured it out the wrong time. JB on tournament point with the machine. Running, running hot. Yeah, okay. Go for the grab. JB's okay with that. These fireballs, he can board heavy kick over or even drive rush board heavy kick over. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Off. We got the damage. Nice That's jump air out. Air. That's that fade away. Okay, coming hot. Oh, yeah. He makes a drive rush overhead. There it is again. But takes a throw right after. His weeds on his throws have been fantastic. It has. And also, also, that's plus right there. Nice catch on that. That was good reaction. Again, Punk is being very, he's taking a lot of grabs, right? He, so I think JB might take advantage of that. See, That's there it enough. is. As he pointed out, calls it out. It's not enough, but it's going to do a lot of damage right here. He's going to spend sequence. all of it. Next sequence. 
The Ooh. mix up. I think he waited. Yeah, he, he baited. Did. He's going to decimate. JB is your champion of Dream Hack Fighters, Atlanta Street Fighter 6 with the Rashid. With the Rashid, he wasn't even supposed to be here, but the stream has made it happen. Shout out to the Twitch chat for, you Shout know, the, the people Twitch that watch chat. JB every day, all day. Mm -hmm. You guys make it happen. I'm pretty sure, you know, he's going to make a celebration, you know, on the stream, his the tweets later on, everything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So big shout out to JB for showcasing Rashid. And, you know, Rashid's the come up, right? We, we have Gachikun in Capcom Cup right. going with Rashid the whole way. And now we got JB winning DreamHack, Street Fighter VI, lots, the big prize pool and everything, right? That's and then, true. but we can't not talk about Punk. He second place right there with multiple characters, right? We had what well, we saw Kimberly, we saw Luke, Luke. and Jury. Man, right. coming through with multiple characters. Maybe trying to get them ready and prepared for what may come his way in the tournament play. East Coast, CPT yeah, is coming, coming up. Yeah, that's coming up, right? So maybe they have more characters for things that he doesn't feel comfortable in or, hey, however he wants to have fun. But either way, it's JB that gets it done. But we had a fantastic top eight all the way through. That was amazing. We see a lot yeah. of representation around the U.S. and especially hometown Atlanta showing out for their scene, for their tournament out here at DreamHack. Man, I mean, like you said, we, we saw hometown people, Larsness, uh, Terrence, right? And, they, you know, they represent Atlanta. And the one thing that was really cool is Sammy, you know, from the Smash scene, mm -hmm. coming through, making top three as well, too. And we have a lot of killers out here, like Idom with uh, with Manone. And, no, represent the low tiers, right? For the now. Low tiers, for, for now. For now, until for season now. two, possibly. I hope it stays like that. Right, who Maybe knows? Maybe I'm a hater. I don't know. Right, Duel Kevin also <laughs> coming in with Luke and Rashid and as well, Rashid. too. Captain yes. Qualifier, Magnegro making out here with Marissa. Mommy Marissa also. Mommy Muscle. Mommy Muscle. Yeah, mommy Muscle. Mommy <laughs> Muscle. But I think that was just exciting to watch just because, you know, it was like, People always talk about, yeah, like the the balance of the game. There's just too many of the same old characters. Mm -hmm. The only ones we saw was Rashid. That was it. that was it. Yeah, that's the only. Yeah, you're right. Rashid, Rash only two Rashids, and even then, that wasn't like like uh, Rashid main, like Duel Kevin. That's right, Rashid yeah. secondary, right? Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. so that doesn't really count. That doesn't really count. Right? Man. Unless you're meta, right? Then you're, yeah, you know, then, then, then you're like Luke and Blanca. Both characters are attached to the name, but uh, it's a really good point. The fact that this game has been so balanced in a way that maybe people don't really notice as much because they see so many results and they kind of hyper fixate on certain characters. They don't look at what's around that. And even leading up to this, we saw what's a Honda. We, I forgot to talk about him. Honda was out here. Honda. 16 spot. Yeah, it was cooking. It was Aki that put down the Luke too as well. Yeah. And the losers, that was Will Kevin, you know? I. I don't want to like you know start anything on Twitter and stuff like that, but I will say people's opinions about this game might need to change a little bit when they look at results like these. But either way, it's been a fantastic time out here. If you did not come here this year, I need to see you here next year. Ooh. If you want to play, enjoy the spectacle, enjoy the greatness that is offline fighting games. There are a few places better than DreamHack. And you know what? Before we we talk about more, I want to see the award ceremony. Let me see it, everybody. Let's let's reward these winners right here. This top eight, Dream Hack, Street Fighter VI, Atlanta. Let's get it. All right, guys, that's the end of Dream Hack Atlanta. Did you guys have a good time this weekend? Awesome, thank you. With that, we'll get this done. Street Fighter VI, top eight, amazing guys. Thank you. We actually 37 states were represented this weekend which is really awesome for a dream hack. So thank you to all of you coming from far and wide out to the event. But with that, let's give it up to seventh place to Duel Kevin. Also in seventh place, give it up to Larsonist. And fifth place, give it up to Mag Negro. I can say that, I'm okay. In fifth place, give it up to Terrence. In fourth place, give it up to Idom. In third place, give it up to Sammy. And in second place, give it up to Punk. And your Dream Hack Atlanta 2023 champion. Give a shout out to Vitrix for making these for all the champions this weekend. Thank you, Vitrix, in the back. Thank you. Your champion, give it up for JB.
All right, with that, guys, thank you, everyone at home, for tuning in. Next stream, Hack in America, will be Dallas, the start of June next year. So until next time, guys, everyone at home, thank you. Players, fans, Street Fighter, fighting games, love you guys. Thank you. To Bailey, you a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. But it's been a fun time. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, you, you already know Jabele's humor and everything like that. But the one good thing that he did say yes. was that we are coming back DreamHack Dallas in June. Mm -hmm, that's so, right. So that's a that's great that thing. Lock that in. Lock so like in. you said, if you guys want to come to DreamHack, lots of things to do. Fighting games represent. Like, I, you can assume that we might have the similar fighting games, you know, possibly Tekken, Tekken 8 next yeah, year, yeah, Under Uni Night, maybe. right? Oh, so, brother. and who knows, I mean, whatever other games coming out, new patches, possibly Imagine season two. Imagine that Hunter game come out. Oh, like, don't tell me that. Yeah, Hunter x Hunter, yeah, well, come on, man. We may got some time for that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we haven't even seen gameplay yet, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited, excited for the future of fighting games. Just in general, next year is going to be super hot in the dot, people. It's been a great time out here at DreamHack Atlanta. I need to see you here next year at any of the DreamHacks. But hey, until then, stay safe, and we will see you in the streets. Peace.